Welcome to the Fragments of Eternity, session 63, finally. It is the 10th of August, 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. Hi, folks. It's me first today. Weird um, boy, weird. Not. Disgusting. Hey! Yeah, this what happened. I have <laughs> usurped the throne of the dead king. Playing <laughs> weird, I am Alex, and I will be... I don't know. Air blocking query or something today? We'll find out. Hmm. Hello. I I'm Colin. And tonight, dear listener, I will be playing Michael Quinn. Your resident evil. Spooky, <laughs> sneaky, slightly noir flavoured, but also quite comedic. Operative dude guy cop. Good guy, Cobb. Hmm. And hi. I'm Nico. And I'm playing Zora. The wizardy Vesk captain man. Yeah. Hmm. Zach. Oh, that's weird. I'm never after you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, hi! It is weird. <laughs> it is weird. Um, thank you, Nico. Hi, I'm Callum, and uh, I'll be playing a slightly misplaced Zig, the Burning Sun, mystical space rat from The Sun, who is currently at The Sun at a different time of, again, sun. yeah, Sun. Yes. What is time, Sun? Ah, oh, baby, it's some sort of <laughs> graduation hog day. Oh dear God! <laughs> How long, have you? Has that been two weeks you've been waiting? Hogation. <laughs> oh dears. Oh God. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, Ryan. Are you though? He I mean, disturbed the order. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's any excuse relevant to the uh, what this is. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for everything. I, I appreciate no. that. Um, I'm just in a bilbo. I have done nothing wrong in my life. <laughs> I will. Um, only accept the apologies for the things I hold you accountable for, however, um, and absolve you, you of bastard. all of the rest. <laughs> How dare you? Why would you How do this? How dare you me? not offload all of our faults upon <laughs> Ali? <laughs> I, uh, I, however, will forgive anyone who's willing to donate to my Patreon. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you. Um, <laughs> Twenty first century Catholicism. <laughs> hmm. That's it. Oh, Look, buy give us money and saving. you are saved, right? Look, you can buy, Th you can buy your pardon from the Lord. This to you by Martin Luther. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, something about bathwater as well. The holy bathwater. But anyway. Meanwhile, in this game. I'm just looking for his only fans. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... <sighs> yep, here we are, guys. 63 sessions in. What do you remember from last time? <laughs> It was like Star Trek. A ship appeared out of nowhere for no reason. Um, and then we hailed it. That is any sci-fi ever. Based on what I have watched with Star Trek thus far, that is how I understand it to work. Yes. Wait a minute, is that a ship? Yes. Speak to them. They're not responding. <gasps> Invade their personal space then. Either with I beams or shuttles. <laughs> oh... Thanks, yeah. Diana. Zig in a different place. Yeah. So I spoke to a third of Triune and went, where do you want to go? Or when do you want to go? And I'm like, well, <laughs> let me tell you. I want to go then and then, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I don't know why I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> but I was. Um, I went to when I asked for it. <laughs> It's weird, right? Imagine being in an RP and you ask the GM for something, right? And then it happens. I mean, it's yeah, I just... was not expecting that. Yeah, it's, this uh, would be like the honestly... end of the second movie <laughs> where there's a callback <laughs> to the first movie's time travel bit where, th where they go, where would you like me to send you? When would you like me to send you? And it just like cuts to Zig's face as he smirks mm -hmm. and the credits play. <laughs> I like to think it's the like um, the TV series. Like every year, there's the graduation day special. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, like the Christmas special, but just always a different version of how many times will you go back to graduation day. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And how many times will you fuck it up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 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 basically where I'm at just now. I think we're almost at that ratio at the moment as well. So yeah, I think we've done mm. we've done two graduation days, and this is year two. So when we tick over October, we're due a graduation day. I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> oh, Mark dear. the calendars, everybody. Reset the clock. Yep. This <laughs> is for the next really graduation day. We just play right? like random congregators. What was it, Alex? It's going to get really difficult to keep CGI and zig into each scene year yeah, and more year. and more times. Uh, no, like I feel like we'll just copy paste it, right? Like we won't even change like the the new we armor can, or anything. It'll just no, always. We can do stuff with like Zeg has to stop past Zeg from stopping future Zeg. From- <laughs> yeah, but this is where we need to have a serious discussion about what model of time travel we're using. So I think whether we're looking for well, it's, Ryan, so it's the Doom platform. <laughs> I think as well you've got the. Um, no, I don't think they mean it instigating time. I think it's more, is it the line of time? Is it the multiverse of uh, parallel time? Is it the bowl of time? And we all know it's the bowl of time. My favourite. Oh. Um, so, you know, all time is and isn't at the same time. I feel like we're in the colander of time right now. Well, if you ask Sindile, I there's a straw involved in a cup of water and then your hands are wet and he's laughing. Time um, is a flat <laughs> square. Time is a vampire. <laughs> anyway, sorry folks at home Not that there are folks at home But hello I'm not sorry either <laughs> not anymore. Um, But yes the uh, If you have made it this far The secret code word is Jared Yes, but only using it in the blue corridor um, Oh dear Anyway um, Now I'm going to have to make that a fucking thing later <laughs> <laughs> Sorry We'll, we'll just insert all sorts of elements. Yes, entropy. I don't pretend I didn't say any of that. <laughs> I often try to. Um, anyway, anything else happened last time? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, Nico? Stuff happened. Uh... <laughs> 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 right. What happened, right? Zig met Mr. Supreme again. That was the end, didn't mm-hmm. I think? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's a bold time in there. Oh, got the, the rest of the crew back. They're away in a wee bit, yeah. Well, I'm not going to use them as a diversion. Do you know DC? Yeah. 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 Uh, and the CC done some stuff at the ship. It was mostly just information gathering, really, and planning for, like, our side, and then a load of talk between Eerie and Mr. Mr. Weird. And lost in space, Zig, as per. A standard Zig performance. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Can I just say, I meant to say this last week and I forgot, but I really loved how matter-of-fact Weird was like, well, just spoke to some gods and they misunderstood what I meant by getting back to the crew, so now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I did like that, so it was like, huh? What? Sure. Nothing surprised me at this point. That's 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 Zora's mindset. Oh, that's point. that's what you think for now, Nico. Wait. <laughs> Just you wait and see <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, and that's that's my, my GMing method. And um anything else? Did I say anything? Michael? Anything uh, else? Uh, I, uh, I put on a jacket and some makeup to look more human, if need be. Mm. Yes, your disguise. There was talk of a hat, I think, from Finn. There might even be a hat. <laughs> yeah. It's probably still a good support of a hat. Uh huh. Um, what kind of hat? Should we roll for hat? I mean, yeah, I'll get a table of hats, right? Two seconds. Okay. A table a of hats. Is it not more of a stand? <laughs> I'm that's, sorry. I that's, don't even feel good about that one. Uh, oh, whoa! Are you seeing this big sombrero table hat? Uh, because that's amazing. I, I'm not because I've specified my search results to actually get a D20 rollable table, that's why. Um, I know, so you have a table of hats, smart. and I am getting tables. Yeah, it's just, it's just tables with hats on them. Uh, table of hats. I've got one here. Uh, me too. Is it a hats for all, co- all occasions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> for all seasons? <laughs> 
So, okay, so, Colin, I... let us have you make a d20 roll. Okay. Right, and uh, this is for hats. One second. Oh, 17. God. Right, okay, I'll, I'll put my, <laughs> my note in now. Session 50, 63, even gods. 63 started. Boop. Um, sort of. <laughs> well, I've put the wee up arrow, so, uh, let's see. 17 is a fez. This is glorious already. A fez. Right? Now roll a, roll, <laughs> roll a d6 and a d4 and we'll decide which is cooler. Okay, uh... <laughs> do do And a d4. Oh, what is happening here? Something's happened, my mouse has double clicked. We almost had an MO appearing on the screen. Do she has done that a few times actually, hasn't she? Anytime I misclick, it's always Emma O that shows her face in this game. She's calling. She shows up when she feels like it. Right, okay, so two Just and like four. Just like in Discovery. Yes. Uh, two and four. So two is cloth, which is kind of dull, and four is dragon hide. So it's dragon hide, because that's cooler. Wait, I got a three. It's alright, yep, it's alright. Silver or silver thread. There we go. It's a silver, silver thread uh, fez. Can I have a D8, a D10, and a D6? Oh my god. Um, one D8, one D10, and another D6? Yep. Okay, four, so seven, three. Four is solid colour. Roll once on the colours table, and that <laughs> colour is black. So it's silver black. Black and silver fez. Right. And then the six is dull, right? So that's the colour descriptors. So it's a dull black silvery fez. That explains the silvery part as if someone's ironed it too much. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. And I need a D6 and a D4. Oh shit, this <laughs> keeps on going. I don't even see that second page. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a perfect fit. Mm. Not a snug, loose, too small or too big, but a perfect fit. And it is worn, hence why the perfect fit, in fact, right? So it's not like this condition. So like and also the dull colouring. Yeah. yeah, so like new, well-kept, worn and shabby. And you got worn, that makes sense. A perfect fit. Now can I have a D12 and then a D10? And that's the last two. Oh D12, D10. <laughs> I think this is the most dice rolls we've had in a session in a long time. And two and a one. Right, so a two and a one. Uh, oh my god. I need, I need, I need, I need a d4. <laughs> four. You need a d4. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's so good. So it has two tassels. Right. And what was the d10 roll? Well, one. Same. It's. It seems human. <laughs> Which is the origin of the hat. Okay. Right? So this was hat style, the material, the exotic material, the pattern, the colours, the colour descriptor, the fit, the condition, the decoration, and the origin, which is starts with it seems, and then one of the following, which is human. Okay. So you have a seemingly human, perfect fit, worn, black, silver, fez with two tassels. She seems human, but she hides that behind a clever human disguise. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there you go. There's the hat fin provides you. Oh man. I, I I suppose I'll go and get my jacket and that, and I'll return to the bridge wearing this glorious hat. This is something because this implies, right, that Yvesque owned this hat. I mean, yeah. A jester's hat. No, it's a fez. <laughs> <laughs> the national headdress of the fez. Or, or do you fez. mean do you, the fez? Um, fez. It, do you mean that this is what Vesk jesters wear? Or fezes? <laughs> is sure, that what you meant? Sure. <laughs> Man, that's um. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> other than ridiculous fez. Yeah, I, I love it. I'm not gonna lie. It was the best decision ever we made. Was to get a, a table hat. Roll thing. <laughs> yep, those are all words. Um, but basically, half a sleeve, you know. Wow, mm. wow. Why did you have to bring that into it? Yeah, it costs more vest. What have you done? Or vest? I mean, um, so, that's what they do. 
So speaking of yeah. slavery, let's get back to our game. Um, the that's a good catch up, right? Anything else that feels like incredibly important to add into the catch up chat that we may have missed? Uh, just the legal disclaimers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, everyone. Any legal disclaimers yes. that you need to hold us completely unaccountable? Um, to have them. Yep. There you go. I, I am responsible. That for applies outside of this game as well. We are not accountable for. Mm -hmm. Anything. Yeah. Like it's just it's white spanning. Like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing we got past the lawyers. Yeah, right. Um I mean we probably should have looped him in, in the conversation, but anyway. Um So based on that, I'll quickly review the, the goals as they stand, right? Which currently are establish self sustaining revenue. Find query a role in the crew. Retrieve Ivan, the king of the old baby. Do you know what that's worth? Ooh, Get the baby. steward intel crew slash corpses. Confront the Radiant Supreme about time travel and how much he already knew slash knows about Zig's importance in picking up the solar egg. So, that's our goals. Obviously those are in play for this game. So, we will get started then. So, let's open up on clearly the most cliffhangery part of last session, which is what does the crew of the Final Hour and Azure Flare do about their current proximity? Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we dropped right in basically on top of it, didn't we? Uh, yeah, it was just like, Alice was like, what was that? <laughs> and then, obviously that was the... Yeah, as well. mm -hmm. yeah, we opened comms, we spoke, so we know. Well, we don't know the exact situation because I don't think they know that Zig isn't with them. Um, yeah, I feel like that's maybe like apparent in the getting the ships ready to like dock together, right? Because I feel like these were going to dock the ships like yes, side we by side um, for some form of confab of some kind. So, yeah, does a uh, weird have any input on the? The Azure Flare side of things. I will do a scan for Zig. Okay. Well, so like, it's pre programmed. Like an internal scan? Yep. After sure. calling him and then getting obviously no response. Which, to be uh, fair, is the norm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing uh, is, like, you don't hear the comm on your person for a change, which is the odd thing. Because yeah. normally, normally you'd phone it and it would just be on you. Um, but yeah. They, they which, could, which is almost competent. Yeah, it's um, it shows true growth in the character of anything. Um, yeah, we have character development, folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. One point there off. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a lot. But yeah, give me a wee computer's roll, and we'll have you use the sensors. And I, I assume the ship helps in some way based on it being a ship. So yeah, we'll add our arbitrary numbers onto this roll. Because we are professionals. Oh yeah, we star find all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Although la the last star you tried to find just lost or missed, so well, that's only because the last star was the deepest. Mm -hmm. Yep. Every week. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, it's how it's, the thing. it's, it's how I we know he thing. hasn't been swapped out. I mean, it's yes. Just, if there was a body cool. By big business. Um, By big business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably a thirty-eight, right? Like yeah, sure. At least. Probably. So, yeah, there doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be any life signs of a zig nature in the ship. How accurate you can tell that, I don't know. But like, no, no zig aboard. Captain, do you have zig? Um, it went with you. Yes, yeah. briefly, but you know how fickle the gods can be with where they place people. I say, uh. gesturing around that you cannot see. <laughs> Please don't tell me Zig's lost again. I think for How a, long for do we have to not know where he is. I was going to say lost. for Weird's point of view as well. You probably see the Queen get a bit agitated about the fact that she's lost Zig, right? Um, as well, like you probably just see like the body language of it, but not necessarily her eye actually saying anything. Assuming all that came well, through. Yeah. Um, so, 
I don't know where he is. When That's was a... the last time you see them. Surely he was on the ship. Uh, when we did the mind link so that we could talk to the gods. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Zora, are these columns open to the bridge? Yeah, yeah, they'll be probably open. Oh, okay, good. There you go, buddy. There you go. Don't yes. I think Alice uncomfortably moves to be like slightly more, you know, sat up right in the chair instead of, you know, chilling. Just because the term Zig and Mind Link and now something bad happened. Um, oh. Yeah. That mind link. <laughs> How does it just vanish with a mind link? Has this happened before? I've lost count. I mean, you were time travelled in a previous episode with mind I link. Know, I know, I know, but like, I've lost count. <laughs> in his defence, the mind link did exactly as it was intended to. Oh. In the sense That's that it got to talk to the gods. It could be the gods that have done this. God. Gods. Did you like God. get yes. uh, the contact details and put them up? Of the gods? Yeah. No, they don't. Their understanding of where they are is somewhat different to ours, so I feel like contact details would be pointless. That's fair enough. Yeah, like they'd have a P.O. box at best, right? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Um, Sorry, did you want to talk to them? Uh, I mean, I don't know why he never gave us. The, never mind. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I'd like to know where Yes. We've also got problems right now in that, well, yeah, I mentioned risk and um, oxygens and dragon men. Yeah, so what are we doing here? Um, rescue, probably not rescue, data retrieval mission. That pretty much sums it up, Captain. That sums up. Every possible mission, yes. There's uh, a a vessel. You'll probably be able to see it. it belongs to the stewards. It was supposed to be tracking. Uh, what's his name? The Mogash. Yeah. I would not. So it's supposed to be tracking the Mogash's movements towards Triaxis or Eox or over here. Anyway, um, contact was lost. We were asked to. Assess the situation. Okay. What, what is the situation? Um, we haven't assessed it yet. <laughs> we were on routes until... Um, Ta-da! I'll say that again. <laughs> I'll say that again. <laughs> this, might be, um, this might actually be... A blessing in disguise. Because... I'm I thinking... think the gods decide their blessings. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that you could possibly, uh, uh, you could possibly contact the ship and ask if it needs assistance, and they may respond differently than they would to us in this vessel. Okay. I would um... also transmit coordinates, as you probably need that. Wait. Yeah, I mean they're pretty much right on it anyway. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the general no region. Uh, uh, the uh, I'm not sure who the best person on your end to address them is. I've I've prepared lifts up, lifts up the hat as if to show him, despite the fact that it's not on video. <laughs> I've uh, I've prepared to uh, uh, to speak to them in, in case. Um, comes to that uh, and I don't want to surprise them too much so maybe 
someone less <laughs> imposing. Love the idea that you're just wearing a fez. <laughs> the show. Currently holding the fez. Oh, I, I just. Oh, away. It's just so good. <laughs> like I have this image of CC just patting his head and pointing at the hat as well, just absentmindedly. <laughs> Like maybe it's just too busy to try and not laugh. Mm. Maybe the uh snuggle like a big girl. Which one would you like? The dead angel or the time warped queen? And me. You're you're here though. Um No, oh, this is um from his ship. This is all a, right. this this is query. Oh, oh. I heard that as Alice. Yeah, I did hear that as Alice. I heard that as Alice as well. Okay, uh, so yeah. I'd actually say retcon that. Uh, who's me? You, you know Query, me from the dead dimension. That's him. Yeah, yep. I, I know this from oh. three seconds ago when you told us, but other than that, yeah, I, I don't know him. Um, yes, we'll rule him out of the choice then. Well, uh, yeah. Ly Lyco? Yeah, is it Lyco? The, the, this, yeah. is, this, is, this is Query, hello. Hi. Hello. Do you, do so you know me. So you I'm are, I'm uh, him. But here now. I hope that clears yeah. things up. Uh did did you guys did you have a Lyco? Yes. See. Was so he's dead. Uh, everyone I knew. Is dead, so it's not. It, you're not special. In fairness, you were dead first, know, like a. I mean, you're yeah, dead, like a. Yeah. Sid. Sid just raises an, a holographic eyebrow, <laughs> or an ocular ridge. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. It's a different type of dead. Uh, I'll just snuggle, because it was... Uh, uh, maybe don't point. have him speak to them, if you... Uh, Eve, Furler. Furler is pretty good at... Even the fez you rolled is edgy. That is what I love about it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> the angel it is, I say, spinning around in the chair. Mm -hmm. And standing up. No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I will lean over to... Who's nearest to me? Uh, probably CC, right? CC. Okay, I'll move you over to CC. In fact, where were you sitting? Were you in the weapon seat? Sorry. Uh, I'd left the room and returned. So, so you CC then, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll lean over to him and go, uh... What? What? What's an angel? I think he just slowly moves closer to try and reach out for the fez. <laughs> Just like keeping eye contact with you though. I'll, put it, I'll just maintain eye contact with him and put it on my head. I think he'll just look at it and like stop moving and then just slowly like put a hand up to his mouth as if in wonder. Uh, <laughs> oh, he doesn't know either. Um, whatever an angel is, I guess it's something to do with the church and weird divine stuff. I think so, you just you hear But she uh, doesn't look like that. You now. hear you hear Isabel uh, on the call and be like You're a cop. They're like god cops. Yeah I wasn't one of those cops. No, you're like a godless cop. I That's not how I would put it. I don't know, you could probably hear her raise the eyebrow. <laughs> anyway, uh, there there were people who dealt with that stuff, but that wasn't my level. And yeah, all sorts of religious people with all sorts of religions. I didn't try and keep up with them. Have you heard some of the stuff people believe in? I think she just looks like, over at, uh, at both um, like the, the, the crew of the Azure Flare on the bridge and just slowly blinks because... The idea of someone questioning beliefs, given wherever the on the Azure Flare are from, is weird enough. Never mind uh, anything else. To Isabel, that is at least. Anyway, uh, well, some of us haven't seen a god, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't see that in character. So that's just, <laughs> nah. um, but like, uh, yeah. Uh, 
anyway, yeah, Furler, you are pretty normal looking, so... Just, excuse me. Yeah, I think she goes to take offence, but the words excuse me come from <laughs> weird. Weird, sorry, I don't mean that if there's an offence, it's just that you're really big and most people don't have as many arms as you. And the ones that do aren't generally big cyborgs. Only a lot of ones. Cyborg? No, that's a different thing. Yes. Android, sorry, apologies. I, uh, get mixed up. Wow. <laughs> oh, don't you! <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh. Anyway, I just thought they're probably gonna be predominantly drawn from a handful of different races. Humans are likely to be one of them. Human or drow, not so bad, but human's a safe bet for the face to put on the party when you're speaking to them. That's why I got my nice jacket and uh, this appears to be some sort of traditional human ve uh, fez. Uh, it's it's definitely it's something. I think it looks important. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, but, yeah, if you, if you guys contact them, I, I would say stick furler, you know, in front of the camera, if, if you want to go visual, and just reassure them that they see someone who looks more, you know, normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I did say that, didn't I? You might have mentioned it. So... <laughs> It's like, you know, you wouldn't put the captain face first if you were... No offense, captain. But the captain is a diplomat. Yeah, and system-wide famous. <laughs> I mean... Are we absolutely sure that they knew what that was when they made them a diplomat? Uh, I'm not too sure that that's... The best word warrior. <laughs> I think, I think, I think uh, spy is more... Better term. Yeah. <laughs> I love the idea that Lyco in that sentence just flashes forward everything the captain has ever done subtle, which is athletic roll through spaceship station doors and <laughs> blow up the crashed space station uh, spaceship that they had booby trapped with the rescue party and burn to goblins and then flashes forward to everything he has done sneakily and stealthily and goes, Yes, that's probably a spy in the Vesk world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like that idea, just when we flash back through all the other sessions of everything Zora's done and everything uh, like was done by comparison. So, <laughs> it's good. yeah, your, 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 your vehicle doesn't have any weaponry, but they're not a threat themselves, so having a ship that doesn't look like a threat that might be also advantageous. Can you, can you scan them? Isabel here. So, uh... Michael, congratulations on your promotion to captain. I, I would also like to ask, why the hell are we out here? Told you that. No. What we're supposed to do here has been explained. Uh, my understanding is that something with God happened. You, you, should, you should really You're, ask me. No, no, that. no. The royal we. And then she just puts a finger up to like stop the queen from even moving or saying anything before the queen makes <laughs> any moves. <laughs> and she just looks you at her. Tongue, woman. You hold your tongue, woman. <laughs> Uh, weren't you here? Th weren't you going to Versus to retrieve something? Oh, that yeah. Part of the, the, that is, this, this is why we're doing this. Why exactly. we do this? Mr. Babak is going to retrieve Ivan. We found right. him, and, and the rest of the information we didn't know, and unfortunately, my contact isn't available, so this is. It's part of an exchange. Yeah, this is the best we can get. Right, so. 
Get on board this mystery ship. Uh, solve mystery. Report back to Mr. Babak. Get Ivan. Yes. Not. And then. Yeah, that's just simple enough. Back. That might actually happen. Here's. Oh, are you familiar with Babak? He didn't seem to know you. I uh, should I be familiar with Mr. Babak? Uh, he's. He's, he's, he's held some important command positions. As in... Commander Babak of the Stewards Babak. Correct. Not. I only know by reputation, not personally. What reputation would that be? Good, I hope. Uh, he was entrusted with the policing of the entire solar system. I'd hope he was good. I believe that he is, despite current events in the solar system. Uh, I, th I, th I think they're rather beyond his control. Um, now, the stewards, the, their, their, their mission, obviously, coincides with ours. They're, they're concerned about Vesk movement and Eoxian movement in the system. This ship is part of that. I, I think regardless of being asked to do it, it's, it's, you know, it certainly wouldn't be unhelpful to find out what they know, if anything. I quite agree. And what resistance are we expecting? Are, are we aware of the ship having been attacked? Was it Eoxian attack? Or was it Vesk in nature? Should we be <laughs> preparing for assault? We are only aware that it has ceased contact, and it appears to be... I can see it out the the window, right? Mm, Was that no. established? No. no. Right. Okay. The, the, the thing that Alice pointed to when you dropped out of yeah, was like, the, the drift was the Azure Flare. And she was like, what's that doing here? <laughs> um, you have had no contact with the Kivalari. Because you haven't had time. You've literally uh, dropped yeah. out of drift to meet them. Yep. We will. I, I can't get visual on it, but we're in the right coordinates, so we could hail. But uh, as I say, I think it would be better if 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 communication was established by a less armed, less desk vessel. Stay within range of you, sensor range, in case anything happens outside bales. And keep in mind, these are tight beaming this information to each other. I am at the moment. I that obviously has line of sight requirements, quite frankly, um, to keep your communications like secret because you're not broadcasting it for somebody else to pick it up. You're beaming it as like a laser pointer to them, essentially, um, because technology and all that jazz. But you obviously, if you are wanting to stay a reasonable distance away. It might involve things getting in the way of the two of you, but there, I don't see why you couldn't do a couple of pilot rolls to try and make sure you keep line of sight for your comms as well. That yep. means you don't need a broadcast. As soon as somebody uses their active sensors, though, that could perhaps light up that particular ship. But rightly said, it's not a Vesk ship appearing from nowhere, though. Exactly. Um, yeah. And the Vesk ship you have doesn't necessarily need to appear as a Vesk ship if you change the transponder. Yeah. Which, I don't know. I don't actually remember if that was done or not. Um, I think we changed it to like a scout vessel or yeah. something. Yeah, we're, we're mm -hmm. um, I feel that uh, seems um, like that was something which we spoke means about. Which we'll means it will be looked as a Vesk we'll vessel, probably. Because their concern was more being scanned by the Vesk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we're not going to be worried about them getting on and see with their pea shooters on their ship, like sort of idea. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, what's the. What's the. Um, Captain? Um, Seems like a sound enough plan. Do we have any? Do we want to make any crew changes at the moment? Um. Hmm. I mean, probably best keep pause as well. Even split in case something happens either way. Are you sure you don't want all the normal people on this ship? <laughs> You're normal, just in your own weird way. Uh, no pun. I think um, Isabel leans over and <laughs> mute, mutes the comm and she says, I thought that was the initial layout. And then let's go with the mute button. Um, 
I wish I had that. Yeah, it's mostly just <laughs> Isabel being yeah. shady to you guys. Yeah, <laughs> and actually saying weird's normal in her book, apparently. I yeah, said not weird's normal in my book as well, alright? I mean, <laughs> it's normal to me, alright? I've fucking met an android. Who I amongst us hasn't like, died, right? <laughs> it, it may be worth us leaving a skeleton crew here and making approach via the Azure Flare, if that's a risk. Uh, her Majesty is willing to take with her ship. I don't believe we should be in, uh, under any direct immediate threat, but it might be a good idea. Actually, get everybody onto the Azor as well. So, who would be staying aboard the final hour? Says Isabel. That's a question. I mean. I hate to ask Alice, because we just always leave her on the ship. <laughs> uh, that's a problem. The thing is though, right, like she does, like she kind of chose to kind of be the pilot. Yeah. Alice, are you okay to hold the fort? She turns around eating in a tub of ice cream. Just slowly nods. <laughs> and just looks at you and goes, how big is this fort? Um, but the size of this ship. Okay, just as in the fort is the ship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> skips, Thumbs up. <laughs> skips more ice cream into mouth. Okay. Thumbs up, one horn, finger, gun, all that. <laughs> and then I think maybe a couple of seconds pass. She goes, "Hmm, wait," and then like puts the mm -hmm. spoon back in the tub and sets the tub on the desk, and you see bits of ice cream drip down the side of it near the console that operates every single part of this ship and uh, turns around to because if you guys all go and I'm left again I'm making new friends she just points at you all <laughs> oh I can see that nope you, you forfeit the ship and Finn job Finn you forfeit everything I become Captain Alice and I go make m new friends. I mean, there's there's a good chance you might have Zig turn up at some point. I mean, who knows where he'll appear. That's uh, true. Zig can be my fine pilot. I will be captain. Too busy to pilot. Need to stand and look and posing. <laughs> look, puts a fist in the air. <laughs> Well, we, we should definitely leave someone aboard the Azure Flare. Possibly more than one person, just in case anything does go awry. Is this part over comms, like between the ships? Yeah. I think then, obviously, Thanida will be like, I believe it would make sense if I stayed aboard this ship. Not only my own possessive reasons, but. You know I can defend myself without the need for assistance, and if there is any form of reactor leak in that vessel, I should stay away. Agreed. I, I would shake my head as in the modern... The affirmative, uh, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure you'll be quite able to protect yourself should it come to a boarding, but do you want any additional bodies because I'd like to take as many people on board what's the ship's name again? The Kivalari uh, Kiva Kiva yeah. on board the Kivalari as possible of course Sig might reappear so and then, uh, he's quite handy I think you could query kind of like clear his throat a bit and go <clears throat> <clears throat> so is there a way somebody could nobly volunteer out of the away mission for perhaps keeping some of the company. For well, considering your... And I don't mean any offense by this, I just want to be clear. But from what you've told us, the only thing I know about you is that you lost. So, yeah, you can stay on board. Query, did you ever encounter a ship like this in your timeline? I like what... I can, like, whisper is that to you? Well, like this one that we're exploring, that's tailing the Vesk commander. We're trying to spy on the Vesk. Any similar mission? 
Um, no. Okay, yep, you can stay behind. Okay. He kind of just like slowly nods. And then kind of just smiles at the Queen. And then I think she just looks straight to you. To you. Uh, <laughs> weird. And she says, yes, he'll transfer to the final hour as soon as we've docked. I mean, you can keep Alice company, right? Might be for the best. Oh god, is this where we start shipping then? <laughs> I, uh. Oh. No, no, this is. <laughs> frankly, this is, so this is for queries ain't good. Frankly, right? throwing a <laughs> party, I'm not too concerned about anything else. It's your business. I am. Um, I have to be present. This captaincy business, it, it really gets your head. I seem to manage, you hear from the Queen over the comms. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a difference between owner and captain. I think as neither, you would see that though. And she just smiles. I'm going to ask the gods. <laughs> Like a chosen one by the gods, how dare you? Yeah, Trump's <laughs> fucking. That even beats Queen. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> okay, Joan of Arc. <laughs> oh. I put the old temple rank. It's so good. Uh, well, well, so, well, God. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the rough outline of a plan, so. It's more than we usually have. It's, it's, a, it's a start. Uh, should we have like a emergency signal for if Zig appears and something weird happens. How about Zig has appeared? This is SK, yeah, obviously. Seems, being... That seems adequate. <laughs> if you see one of their crew go up in a ball of radiation. I mean, it only happened once. I'm sure you won't mind Link anyway. Um, the radiation was distinct from the mind. Yes. Although... No less horrifying. I'm not... You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know the full, ex full extent of what he can do. Does anyone? Certainly not him. Um, Weren't there <laughs> reports of him blowing up a woman's head in a public he... transport? Is that no. what happened? That's not what happened, no. Good. What? He made somebody else shoot her in the head. Why? <laughs> By accident. You know, Okay, there's a reason I made a point not to look into whatever that was. Uh, sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. I think, um, mentioned it? what? The shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware of any shooting. I think Isabel just rolls her eyes and yes, they scream. Um, <laughs> the solar system hears them. But uh, I think she says... Are you requesting I join this away team, or do you wish me to remain aboard one of the vessels as well? I'm easy ozy, quite frankly. You what? She just looks at you and draws you like a look as if don't. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> it's a human term. It's uh it's sort of like a shrug, but verbally. Weird shrugs. What set of shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like a, a Mexican one. wave? <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, so um last time we walked into something and said and you died, so I guess that's entirely up to you if you want to cough. <laughs> yeah, what's the chances of that happening again, eh? You hear like um, slight humour in that voice? With a <laughs> fair chunk of bitterness? Eh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, hopefully yeah. slim. Very reassuring. <laughs> I trust him. I, I am available sorry. upon request. Put it that way. If you require me to help with this, I understand you are a man down. I, I'll mute our end and say <laughs> to Captain, uh, I wouldn't mind having her along. Uh, then she can come. I'm just talking a leg anyway. 
Furlough. What do you want me to do with your body if you die again? <laughs> oh my god. What's... <laughs> That's what you can do. What's that? Uh, I'll admit it, mate. Yeah, you can come. Yeah, I think she's just like, m like mid poised to uh, accost him. Um, <laughs> and then she uh, mutes their side. <laughs> and then says to uh, to Weird, Would you like any special requests yourself? I, I don't need any. If you fall. I'm not going to fall. I've yeah. got the gods on my side. She just rolls her eyes and just shakes her head and goes, Yes. <laughs> That I think it's just like like there's inner screaming from Isabel's head because it's not like she didn't have that but like in contract form, right? So she's not necessarily so sold on the I have the gods on my back. This is like when the new recruits were brought into Abadar and kind of you know brainwashed into signing up, I guess. Yep. Yep. And you're just that exact zealot child. Um, to her right now, so yeah, she just unmutes and goes, I appreciate the uh, inclusion. I'll suit up. And she just like walks away, um, like out of the bridge, I guess. If we're connected, um, shall we head on over? I, I feel like we rolled piloting last time to connect the ships, but why don't we roll them again? And have somebody from each side do that, so... Pilot, pilot, oh, no. pilot, pilot, pilot. 21. And uh, what would I use when I roll piloting? I'll, I'll roll. Uh, I will Just not. For the, <laughs> for the sake of... <laughs> you're, like, you're the captain, you don't need to roll. Um, <laughs> that's how it works. I will save Where you on? Uh, hey! Um, I'm sure there's a pontoon joke in here somewhere that's really good, but about like strapping ships together, but never mind. Um... We'll yeah. never know it. We'll never know it, no. Somebody smarter than I will make that joke work. And, um, yeah, you just kind of, like, docked the ships together, so you've got, like, an airlock between you now. Um, which is pretty good, right? You just now basically have one bigger ship. Which is kind of cool. Um, so match speed in twirl at people. Well, that's the thing, right? What do you want to do now, like, with the ships? Like, are you just going to try and, like, scan the sector to find that? Or are you going to, like, transfer the crew and send the Azure Flare to go do all the scanning? Like, what, what's the point? Are you going to send the shuttles out? Because I know there was talk of that. Um, I, I was thinking we can scan, locate it, communicate with that ship once ours is sort of at a dip, bit of a distance, and then if favourable or you know, unfree. Depending on circumstances, we'll, you know, approach maybe in the shuttles, maybe with the ship. Mm -hmm. Because if we feel like there's a threat, we might feel like we have to return to the, the final hour. Um, if yeah. we feel like we can sort of go in more subtly, then definitely shuttles. Like, it's it's going to be very circumstantial. Mm -hmm. Definitely has a flood. So it's probably... Just get the crew up there as well. Yeah, you see, where, where are you going? He just does grab your hands at you. D do you want to come? He just does grab your hands again. Uh, I lift him up. He tries to take your fez. <laughs> okay, I think he just wants this classic hat. Bit. <laughs> Unnecessary at this point. <laughs> Do we, if there are technical issues, he is very, very good. I mean, I know Weird's good, but this guy's crazy good. I would not. I is, mean, if, is, if he wants to come, he's welcome. Alice turns around on her seat and goes, So is crazy good better than good? Mm. Yeah. Apparently, to all those youngsters. And she's looking at CC, who's currently like sucking on one of the tassels. Yeah. It's like, okay. Right. Uh, CC here is some kind of a tech genius. He's, he's quite incredible, really. Okay. Do, do you want... When? Do you want the hat? 
you can. I was sort of let him tug it off the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can, you can oh. have it. I think he just like puts it on his head and has one of the tassels in his mouth. Yeah, he's a brilliant little guy. He just lacks a bit of focus, maybe. Don't we all, Captain? She says, uh, eating the last of her ice cream tub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, I will give Alex a pat on the shoulder as I put, uh, well, put, sorry, I'll put CC down first and then I'll give Alex mm -hmm. a pat on the shoulder. I'll say, uh, we'll try not to take so long this time. She just narrows her eyes at you, you know, like full angry, right? And uh, she's like, I mean it, Captain Alice. I'll get, a, I'll get a pat on the head and I'll say, we'll be back. Captain Alice. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do a quick sharp salute and then mm -hmm. turn and walk out. Finger gunner and walk mm -hmm. out. <laughs> yeah, and she like, you know, she finger guns back, right? And she's like, no, good luck. Get a thumbs up. Is CC following? Um, no. <laughs> She's kind of just sat, like at the, well not on the seat, but next to the seat, uh, just with the yeah. fez on his head. CC! Okay, just looks up. Come on, there's a ship to look at. He stands up and then, like, takes the fez off his, um, head, looks at it, looks up at you, and then, um, turns to Alice and goes over and just puts it in Alice's hand. And then just kind of like, you know, pats her hand gently. Like he did with uh, Zig when he gave Zig the gun. <laughs> he just nods solemnly. And then as if, you know, as if praying for the goodbye of the Fez. And slowly just like scampers after uh, Lyco and Zora. It might be ruined, it might be intact, there might be information to retrieve. It should be interesting. I and think you'll like it. I think then he kind of just looks up at both of you and then just has grabby hands between both of you. I will grab a, a hand. Um, yes. Are you is, are you short enough to, like for him no. to grab? No, probably not. I'm probably like like hunched to the side. <laughs> 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 Awkwardly, you and Lyco's heads have to touch. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. But yeah, I'm, uh, not, I'm not grabbing the other hand. He's got one hand grab. If you, That's and if 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 you're gonna grab, he is gonna climb up. Like he'll climb up the first person that offered. So yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. good. That's a lot easier than starting like hunched yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Cap. Um, let's head to the Azure Flare. Uh, we're going to ship comms. Uh, Alice. I guess it's kind of after you how far you think will be a safe distance because you, you you probably want to keep us in in range um okay us, give us a heads up if you feel like you're gonna have to break that so probably should have discussed this before but is there like a cut all of our losses and run policy you know, save uh, s save your favorite android. You know, <laughs> this ship has some really nice guns. Like, Ideally, like, oh, this isn't the time to flirt. Uh, ide <laughs> Ideally, uh, <laughs> if there are people shooting at us, y you could, you know, assess the situation, but probably shoot them. So, if I see bright flashes from where you are in the dark. Come closer, is what you're saying. Uh, Maybe scan first. So you want me to actively be scanning the system? Uh, only, only if... One of some harms. How? Okay. But we, we <laughs> keep an eye out for signs of battle. Uh, we will, we will, is there a way we could do like an open calm, right? See if we were to get into trouble. Could we do like an open comm for us? So, Alice would hear it, but she would need, like be detected here and there. Right, you like, can type beam, make us detect right, so wherever, it, like, let's, tell you what, let's get a wee bit of a, let's get some doodling on the go, right? Because we all love 
diddling. Um, maybe, I guess. I maybe. Right, so well here we go. Right, let's let's go to this wonderful sketch page. Right, and uh, so if we have, uh, where are we here? Freehand. That'll do. Right. So as far as I could understand the way you were describing it, anyway, I mean, I guess what I'm thinking about would work. Right. Okay. So we have here. Fine lower, mm -hmm. Azure Flare, mm -hmm. Evil Larry. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you'll need to find the Kiva Larry, right? Uh, if I can actually even move this now. So, let's say the Kiva Larry is over there, and then you're going to move away from the fine lower, right? And we're going to hope that a uh, ship sensors and all that jazz, like, let's say, you know, levels of sensorness. Right, but you ideally want the Kivalari's sensors to stop short, yeah, yeah, yeah. and vice versa. Makes sense. See, I get that part. I get right. That part okay. So wait, wait, wait. So okay. if yours can keep line of sight to the Azure Flare, and then either dock the Azure Flare to the Kivalari, or then have the shuttle from the Azure Flare take you to the Kivalari. Mm -hmm. Right, because you have yeah, that. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. That is probably. Right, so it depends what you want to do, right? But let's say you do that. You could do one of two things. You could tight beam the shuttle if you're going to keep a. Right, and only, a good strategy. only somebody actually intercepting the beam would be able to pick it up, right? But if the other side of the beam, it's unlikely the beam would reach its destination. Mm. So, or if you did the, you know, radio broadcast. Just send it a ping. So Aye. that's what I was thinking, right? Is like, your eyes were flare, right? Uh, I'll get rid of it. we go there. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just for instance, scenario. Oh my god, there's a vest ship there. It's going to attack us. Like, even if we never had line of sight. The Azure Flare go. Oh, maybe, maybe send it like a. Oh yeah, you could just radio. use open comms. Yeah, like you could. Yeah, I mean we're already in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a desperation move. That's a yeah, 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 so you could just go um, bam. Everybody here that ha that can hear it, please, you know. Exactly, and then like, obviously radio signal I bam. If I know it doesn't need to be detected, the the tight comms, but like sort of maintain constant communication to know if something's disrupted it. Mhm. Mm yeah. Like, just check in every minute or two. Because mm -hmm. um, you can leave that up to, like, um, the crew of the the ships, obviously. Alice and... Uh, Alice, Finn and Query that will be on uh, the, fi the final hour. And, uh, in fact, we should maybe maybe actually just list all of our crew assets, actually. And every Queenie on uh, the Queen ship. MDLs, can, yeah, we, just, can we do some... Uh, some white text crew members, please. Uh, in fact, just so we can fill out who's who. Right, so we've got Alice, if you all want to do your own names first. Um, we've then got. Where's the text box? Query. CC. Uh, I guess Finn counts. Next. Uh, I nearly called her Queenie. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, do I have any other NPCs? Yes, uh, Isabel, yep. Oh, so that's about big. But and we can. Right, so we've got Alice. Uh, what I'm going to do is delete all these yellow and orange. I can assume. On boarding party, so I'll put myself here. Well, what I'll do is, if you just want to do that, yeah, we'll have that. I'll get rid of uh, that white line. No, that's fine. That that can be done. That can be left that way. Oh God, why? The white line makes sense. <laughs> oh God. Right. So we've got Alice and Finn and Query over this side. 
And then we've got Sanida's team. And I guess Isabel's going in this team. Uh, and CC is on that team as well, I think. Or do you just want to leave CC on this ship? Um, I think bringing him aboard has value, but then also keeping him at a distance has value, so... Yeah, because, like, in theory, he could help mess with the... You know, there's your flares sensors and all that jazz to, like, make sure the communications are good, right? So you've got, like, Alice on the fine lower, who's pretty good at tech, right? She's, you know, she is tech, so she's good at tech. Um, and then you've got, you could have CC here. Good, good, good luck to the Queen. Um, technically a less a problem on this ship, because we don't want to be running about after CC when it gets distracted at some point. Mm -hmm. True. Plus, we can, you know, we can, con we can, if we're seeing constant contact, we can tell them what's happening, or we can suggest, you know, scan that, would you? Run past them, within, run information past them, so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, especially if you keep everything line of sight, as I said, for yeah. these tight beams, yeah. You could uh, easily manoeuvre information back and forth without it being intercepted. <laughs> I feel like Fanida will be able to keep CC in check. He's probably the only person able to train him, let's face it. Uh, <laughs> he's probably just up and take his hods and start mashing buttons with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, CC then has to like, just probably just not like her, probably avoids her. <laughs> probably sure. Yeah, I mean there is that, right? Let's hope it's not getting any radiation. But um, yeah, <laughs> we're allowed to do that well. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. CC is a bad one. At least he's learned to put it on stun. Uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, <laughs> so final hour. I can't spell that apparently. Final hour. I keep pressing enter when I really don't want to. Um, as your flare. A A F shuttle and the Evo Larry makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no. And there's a <laughs> there is a fine lower shuttle as well, if need be. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what you would do with it, but you have that also. As like a, a resource. So that is a thing, which I'll just pop down here for the sake of it being a thing that does exist. Uh, well, our shuttle. There we go. Right, so... Any, did we miss MD? Not I think, not I can think of. And then Zig's like in space, obviously. Zig's on his own map, yeah. Yeah, time and space. Yeah. Space hole. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd kind of see it now. Okay, so that seems like a plan, right? So, uh -huh. team shuttle, team flare, team team final hour. Okay, cool. Right, so you uh, want to do any prep? Before you actually, like, start heading off in the Azure Flare? Uh, I think I have all my guns ready. Yeah, I have all my guns and my stuff ready. I make sure the material is administered to my armor so I can walk through their walls. Okay, yeah. Um, and then, obviously, I think CC just takes in everything that the Azure Flare is again. Um, just appreciating the entire place, because he hasn't seen the ship before. He's only seen the shuttle. So, he goes a bit crazy. Um, uh, beyond that, uh, I think a uh, query just kind of nods, like at each of you as he's passing, like maybe when the airlock's open for the first time, and these are, you know, Isabel's like, right, good, we're docked, and uh, starts moving stuff between the ships for what you might need. Uh, and it query just like, you know, hello, good, excuse me, yep, hello, hello, uh, just at both like Zora and Lyco. Yeah. He just yeah, looks like Nix 5, but with like 
you know, weird kind of almost kind of like darker kind of skin with like all the white LEDs running through him and white eyes and it's like platinum stubble um, and like a silvery hair. So surreal. It's like it. Strange. <laughs> I was just kind of nod and pass him by. <laughs> yeah, and him just doing that awkward polite, hello, 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 yep, mm, uh, excuse me, coming through, yep, mm-hmm. Because it's maybe weird for him as well, right? Because, like, in theory, his versions of you were probably close to him, and they're yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I just had a thought, um, I, I wasn't going to say anything, but I might as well now, because who knows what happened. So, I, I literally pivot the spot and go, hey, query. Okay, like a, kind of turns on the spot as well and looks at you. You're like, oh, you seemed surprised earlier at something they said. You're like, oh, was, uh, you know, he was a normal human, I guess. Um, yeah. And he kind of, like, gestures around and goes, and rubs the back of his head, and he's like, normal though, right? And kind of shrugs. Just, uh, yeah, just interested in how much is the same, how much is different. Um, do you, uh, do you, know, do you know what I am? I kind of like, uh, lets out like some air, almost like a laugh, but not quite with the energy. And he says, uh, alive! Believe it or not, um, which is more than I can say for my Lyco. And he kind of just gives you a look, and it's like, "Good luck." And he kind of turns and just walks yeah, into the nice. final lower. And uh, there was also a, 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 a Zora. <laughs> I think yeah, you, you maybe say that just as. Query has left the very painful conversation where you just grill him on his dead universe full of nothing. No. I don't think he, uh. I don't think he quite realizes. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm wearing the makeup. I probably. Oh, yeah. I haven't done a. Right. Have you done a roll for my disguise, right? <laughs> Of course I haven't, because it's such a dumb rule. What do you need me to roll? I don't know! <laughs> Let me double check. Um, the, so, for, for you... You roll something that much. <laughs> but, um, yep. You can use disguise to change your appearance uh, with 1d3 times 10 minutes work. We didn't really see how many minutes work it took, but it was sort of between sessions, so I suppose that's alright. Mm-hmm. Uh, with disguise kit by casting a spell such as disguise self or by using technological device. So obviously I use the disguise kit because I have one in my stash. Um, GM rules disguise check in secret so you're not sure how good your disguise is. Check is opposed by the perception check of anyone who might realise that you're not who you appear um, to be. What level of disguise are you after? Because there's a disguise say, DC yes, modifying Yes, there's a chart paper. of modifiers. So, uh, I'll share this for the group in uh, our chat here. There you go everybody. I, there's the modifier table because this I game... I don't take... I, I'm trying to look like a living human, so I don't take the minus, the, the plus, t right, so the plus 10 is, sorry, for other people trying to guess that I'm not what I appear to be. Disguise is a different creature type, right? So if anyone looking at me would normally get a plus 10 to figure out that, I, you know, that I'm not an elemental or an android. But because I look so much like a human, I don't take that plus 10. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if the different race applies or not, it's not clear. I would have thought no, because you're a, you're a Barai human, right? Yeah, yeah. so just be a up and you're, you're a Barai so human. I actually think, I think I probably just get the minus five to other people's ability to perceive me as being, but I don't know. It's the plus two to plus eight might apply, so you might sort of cancel it out. I don't know. I, I'm inclined to think that probably it's just like a minus five to other people's attempts to perceive if I'm a fake. <laughs> a pony. I think disguise a different race is the same 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I yeah, I explicitly don't, don't have to worry about the, the plus 10 to people detecting me for creature type. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm trying to disguise myself as a human, so it's the same size category, so the other plus 10 doesn't apply either. Different race, it doesn't say it doesn't apply, but it feels like it probably wouldn't. Right, so I need to know the maths of everything you do for a disguise check. So, d20 plus what number do I roll? For your disguise check. Ah, that's a good fucking bad question. It's uh, let me just double check. It's charisma, isn't it? Yes. So, so it's just a charisma. Car mod, and these are modifiers to other people's attempts to contest it. So, so I think don't it's don't just don't just literally like seize if you're clicking the disguise button on your skill list. Because isn't there a disguise skill? So so do you want me to press it? We'll just ignore the result. Yeah, and we'll get the modifiers from it. So, strip the modifiers from that and tell me what I'm rolling. Uh, Seventeen. So what was? I rolled a three. Yeah, three I, rolled a, roll? I rolled a three. So yes, right, what's the seventeen? So I've got plus eight for ranks, plus three for CS again. Yeah, that plus is L that is plus seventeen. I'm go. Yeah, it's plus seventeen. Cool, I have the check. Done. Secret okay. disguise. Because I'm assuming all the same mods would apply, right? Because even though it's uh, you rolling, above. it's still me. It's, it's, still the same as any it's, any, it's the same as any DC check for against any mass spells. It's a charisma check, so it'll be the same as that. It's just a charisma DC, really. Just jar. It's such a dumb rule. Like I get, Why? I get the so I get the idea that you don't know how convincing you'll be because it's something external in a way. But at the same time, if you've done like Ronald McDonald levels of makeup to not look you like know a clown, not gonna look, yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah, uh, it's it's dumb. So it's a weird ass feature. Why it can't just be you create the DC by rolling for other people's perception or investigate? Sorry, right? Why that isn't the mechanic. I think it's probably purely just, oh, then people would go, oh no, I realise it's bad and I try again. Uh, but no, because they don't realise it's bad. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, we've got a result for that. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think I'm fully prepped then. Good, good. And I've put that text in there so that you can also find the secret role. Yeah. For me. So, <laughs> I was saying to Lyco there that, like, um, not like was into, was into the captain there like uh he probably doesn't realize because of the you know the makeup uh, i don't think he knew what anyway i can tell you in a second actually not a clue not a clue okay <laughs> um uh, i hmm hmm that is interesting, though. You know? Yeah, because it kind of tells you nothing about his Lyco, right? And it kind of tells you nothing about what his opinion of you but beyond you're alive, right? Yeah. So, which is an interesting choice of uh, words, but again, maybe the nuance is a bit lost in him given the like end-of-universe scale he's working on. I think, uh, I assume we're still just sort of wandering through I think, I think it just as I wander, I'll be kind of shaking my head, kind of sadly. Mm. Just because you know, I do feel a bit bad for him because he doesn't like. I think, I think, yeah, you know what? I, I want to. I think Lyco thinks that he would take some solace in thinking, well, at least my friend's alive in this universe, even if he's not really my friend, he's a version of him. Uh huh. But then, can I sense motive to see if I get anything else that would contradict that? Sure, why not? Because I feel like that's what Lyco thinks, but maybe if I get a different result, you know, you'll know, you tell me that I wouldn't quite fit with what I saw. No, I think you've got enough to, to make that assumption, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Lyco like, like kind of feels like, oh man, he's, he's sort of taking a bit of solace in the fact that, oh look, my friends are alive here, and at least in one case that's not quite true. Um, so he does feel kind of, he, 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 he definitely feels a degree of empathy for him. Mm -hmm. Even if he was rude to him, um. yeah, and I think that's something that obviously, like maybe Lyco's perspective on, is obviously going to be completely different from like queries because your take on that is 
Oh, I guess he is making the best of literally the worst situation. Yeah. Um, because he is a survivor, right? And that's it. He's the survivor. As opposed to like, because keep in he wasn't technically meant to be in this universe. Just that bullshit with them, um, you know, Triune and Zig yeah. and uh, Weird, and then apparently like, part of why like like was kind of. Uh, iffy with him at first because it's like what are you how do I know that you are what you say you are so he's, he's, he's a little distrustful, distrustful mm -hmm. of him um, but yeah I think seeing him has kind of made them feel a bit yeah because it's 100% for him. it's like horrible uncanny valley with the knowledge of oh he failed though yeah it's not great <laughs> not great at all uh, but yeah, like he's obviously like he's moved everything to the right ships that he's needed to. Um, obviously, if something would have made sense that he would have done and not just convenient, I don't mind if that had happened. Uh, and yeah, you can set off on the Azure Flare. Um, unless there's anything else that we just want to cover on the ship. Or he's all good. I think so. Yep. Uh, Cool. Who's prepping the shuttle? It's got a watch ship I'll be on, sorry, be on the Azure Flare right now, the fair level snow. Where do you need to be? But as we get onto the shuttle, I guess, if that's what's happened. Uh, yeah, like, you just have moved every, like, from the, the final hour that he's needed onto the, the Azure Flare for the journey. And, like, obviously yeah. traded who had to be where. So, obviously... I have a silly question, but, like, I don't know, it's actually, oh, well, it's got a point, though, is, like, it's a sort of ETA until, like, when we would get to the sort of dest destination. Like. No, because you just need to find the key Valari. Yeah. Okay. okay. You just don't, don't want to scan from our ship. Yeah, you want to keep the final hour as, like, the, the ace it's up the sleeve. ETA until we get to the general destination. Like, or pretty much at it. Really yeah, you just dropped out of the coordinates, yeah. Because remember, not be able to really narrow it down until we can actually scan. Scan. Remember, you 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 decided not to like mess around with jumping out further away. You just thought, right, just jump out there, and we'll see what we end up with when you did the drift jump. It's just, it's just fucking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, be, it's future sense. I'll be, it's, I'll be future sense. You know? That's good. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like, do you want to like who's getting the shuttle ready then? And obviously, because you'll need to get like you know your team prepped for that. Well, like the bridge crew. I guess then scan and then obviously I assume he's want to launch ASAP. So I assume he's will wait in the shuttle while they're scanning, mm -hmm. so you're not running through the Azure flare. So who's doing the prep work on that? Pre-flight and all that jazz. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume me. I, I mean, you've got Isabel as well, um, but it's really up to you how you want to divvy that labour up. Can't fly, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't have my driving license. Can fly better outdoors than indoors, yeah. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. <laughs> That's okay, Captain. I can get this thing sorted. It's just that Thor 2 line, isn't it? Who among us can actually fly? Fly 40 feet. Mm -hmm. It's just when uh, Thor and Loki are arguing about trying to fly the Dark Elf mm -hmm. spaceship, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so... Uh, weird, you head down to the, the shuttle bay, yep. I guess, and uh, start prepping that. Uh, can you give me the perception roll, please? Perceiving? Mm hmm. I would. <laughs> but. Being an ass. Uh, let me open my character sheet again. Oh, that's Alice's character sheet. Yeah, Let's, don't use her eyes. <laughs> Look again through weirder um, eyes. Look again with new eyes, yes. Or Peace my finer me. moments. Quit fail. Okay, so you can you can kind of explain why you don't take in the information that the egg is definitely not on the ship. Because remember it was in the shuttle in the crate. So, oh, no. that isn't a necessarily a standout apparent piece of information to Weird, despite it should be. He but has disappeared eggs into the void, and thus rejected all knowledge. And uh, 
it does feel very fitting that yeah. along with the egg being pushed forward in time, so does your memory of said egg. Um, yes. It's to kick the egg away. Yeah. So I like the idea that that <laughs> just doesn't like that doesn't occur to you as being strange at all. Not in the fact that like you're not aware that you made the deal to send it away level, it's just you pick the crate up and put the lid back on it and then think nothing more of it, right? Um, the egg is no longer an issue. Yeah. Um, so it'll take somebody to point out that missing egg for it to become forefront in your mind based on that <laughs> bad roll. Okay? Yep. Not that you don't know you made that deal because you are fully aware you made that deal. Um, that wasn't taken from you. But yeah, just so we're clear on the uh, the way oh, that, no. that is. Uh, yes. Uh, Azure Flare crew, feel free to make some plans. I'm going to quickly go and close my window, so BRB. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, boom. Because why not get even more insight? Never mind that attack roll, that's not supposed to be that. What did you. Your astrological sense. Yeah, it's my future. My, my augury. The, uh, the reason why you're famous, quite frankly, right? Yeah, the, 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 the thing I barely ever use because I can barely ever think of a time to use it. But I mean, <laughs> huh? Something could happen in the next 30 minutes. Ironically, right? in hindsight, it's a better power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wish I'd saw that coming. Oh. So, so uh, yeah. Let me quickly read Augury again, real fast, but I think it's basically all on you. I think you do like a roll and then. Uh, basically tell me like three very arbitrary, differently statements. Well, I know it's like lukewarm, hot, or cold, you know? Like. <laughs> Who wants to be doing the scanning for the uh, the Kivalari, quite frankly? Because CC can do it if he's wanted to be an NPC. Um, but one of you guys could do it from the shuttle, just. Obviously, connect the shuttle's computer to the bridge computer. I mean, I'm awful at scanning, <laughs> and I'm also pretty much half asleep right now, so. Yeah, I'd take that on me. In game, I mean. Mm. Red thing. <laughs> so, do you want uh, that honour then, weird, or do you want it to be CC? No, I'll take it. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm doing everything at once. Mm -hmm. Why not? Once right. once. Yeah, why not? You've got the arms for it, so. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this is dear. left against multitasking kids. Yes, never, not even once. So, yeah, do you want to talk me through how you don't find that? Like, what, what, what's the reason why you're, you're not? Or is it just going to be a like? Because my standard that is the thing that's going to happen regardless is just just means the pro roll means it takes longer to find. But if you've got something more interesting, you can hit me up with that. Uh, so is the scanner using like inbuilt equipment in the shuttle? Uh, no, it's the shuttle's hooked up to the ship, and it's the okay. ship's sensors that you're using to like try and get some kind of like ping from the Kivalari. Uh, I just like an idea that uh, he decided to try and build a a discrete connection between them, and he's screwed that up. Mm -hmm. um, so. Suddenly, it's just out of out of range, out of connection. Yeah, and I think then we have turn it off and on again. And we have this little flash for the the, the viewers at home of you like bridging the connections um, to try and like you know do that, and then later on having CC just severing those connections mm -hmm. for unknown and possibly unrelated <laughs> reasons, <laughs> <laughs> um, which I enjoy quite frankly. Uh, Hence why that's maybe not working anymore. So yeah, we um we have the the image of everybody in the shuttle getting ready with all like your you know your gear on and whatnot, and then we have the image of uh, the bridge with a uh, CC like tapping away, interfacing with the the computer and Tanida piloting from the captain's chair, doing her best to just like maneuver grid by grid by just updating the autopilot, and um, then a uh, CC just looks down and then there's the the ping on the radar where it highlights like you know something's been detected and then we cut over to Zig because that's Yay. a great place to cut over Hi. hello hello welcome back to the game <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I'm a bit nervous yeah, <laughs> yeah it'll be fine don't worry about it no, no, no build up or tension okay. or anxiety at all eh? so no no yeah I was just sitting there I was like uh, I got to the point where I was like oh I'm really enjoying this 
Like th this part can continue for as long as it wants. Yeah, the the adventures of actual space things. Um, yeah, I was really enjoying that. But uh, okay, All right. So, meanwhile. You know, that place. Ah, yes. It's great. I can't love it. It's so cool. I think I, I think we say this about every map ever, but you could set a whole campaign here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very cool. I'm very, very fond of the Burning Mother. Um, so, the last shot we had was uh, you heading back to like your room after meditation with uh, Enzo 14. And uh, possibly like tentative apprehension, right? Because, like, is it just, like, I suppose maybe it didn't even occur to Zig that you might bump into yourself in your room? Yeah, no, it's not even, like, something that crossed his mind at all. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I like that. And, uh, obviously when you got to your room, I mean, the Radiant Supreme was just kind of sat on the end of the bed, just, like, it's, a, it's about time, you know, in his, in his manner. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, we fade back in there, and he's obviously just patting the side of the bed. I think just kind of Zig, looking at you and blinking. Yeah, Zig kind of when he says it's about time, he just Zig just like solidly affirmatively nods, mm -hmm. and then just well, walks up to the bed, sits next to like where he's patting, mm -hmm. and just looks up at him and kind of like waits, like based on the assumption that he's going to say something, and um, wait to see what he's going to say. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and he kind of just uh, kind of sits beside you, and kind of like just kind of like almost sighs, you know. Uh, I'll just pop this up because let's face it, isn't he glorious? So good. <laughs> it's fucking a shower. They're so good. Um, it's one of these things where I'm like, ah, Rage is free. What a dick! And then I look at his art. I'm like, ah, he's so cool. Mm -hmm. So um. Yeah, he sits and he kind of like sighs and like almost slumps his shoulders. And then he says, I'm not going to do the voice the whole time. So I, I, am, I am sorry that you're not going to get this wonderful voice. That's okay. But uh, he kind of just sits. Okay. And then he kind of just, um, he goes to like pat like your leg or something, almost as if some kind of reassuring icebreaker thing, and then he just kind of like mm -hmm. taps the bed in between the two of you, and then kind of like stands up, and then just awkwardly slowly starts pacing in a very slow fashion, and then uh, he still hasn't said anything yet, and we're maybe like approaching like probably the forty second mark of silence okay. now. Uh, um, I think if, if silence kind of went on too long, Zig would just stand up too, mm -hmm. and we'll just say. I take it, you know, I'm not, no. And he kind of just like, he's kind of slowly nodding, like acknowledging that you're speaking as he's like pacing. And then um, he kind of turns to you and he says, you, you're in grave danger. Or for the folks at home, you're in grave danger. And then doesn't say anything. Just kind of stops there. I mean, I feel my, uh, the past few insert amount of time this campaign has lasted. Um, <laughs> amount of time I've... I feel like I've been that many times in danger. I'm just kind of like looks at him. Or that amount of time in danger, sorry. And yeah, he um, hasn't moved at all. Do you know why I'm here? No reaction. I think I think Zig gets a bit sort of agitated at his 
just existence. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you know, I think maybe, like, there's that sort of, like, in his mind, the flash to him being very, like, vague and, ooh, mysterious. Here's some vague things on the ship. And, you know, obviously then, you know, going through, like, be, like seeing him in the, the vault and stuff and him being sent back in time to the thing. And he's, like... And then, obviously, there's just this silence. And, um... I think Zig probably, like, stands up on the bed and just says, Why me? Again, not even a... not even movement. And then, I think, at that, like, Zig just goes off on this incredibly, like... A tirade. Yeah, this is a big, long rant uh, about... Um, I think just like saying everything he feels about like you know like you're so vague blah 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 uh, and he you know obviously references him like what he says on the ship in the future I guess um, <laughs> this could get confusing and then referencing like you know going well you send me back here to pick up the egg and then you don't say anything what to do with it. You don't give me any sort of reason. You just say, oh, there you go. There's the egg. And you take the egg back. And all right, cool. Um, I save you even though you've died. And then I, now I'm here and you say nothing. Silence. What do you want from me? Yeah, hasn't even moved. I think Sig probably like gets off the bed, um, maybe like kind of like walks past him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just just turns around and like maybe, maybe even like you know like walks past him towards the door, then turns around, looks at him. And he's still looking at where he first said you're in danger. Um. He just says. I'm in no more danger than than any of my friends. Still, like, no sound, no movement. (laughs) (laughs) I think he walks up to, like, I think, um, is he... Like, does it seem like he's, like, just actively ignoring me? Or is he, like, like, frozen? Or is it just that he's kind of just zoned out in his own little world, like, staring at... Like, he said his piece, and now he's waiting for whatever response from... Why don't you give me some perception? Yar. I will. You can throw in a oh, sense motive would. as well if you wish. Yeah. Why not? Perception and a sense motive. I would. Perception. And. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, you maybe noticed that he hasn't moved since, like, since he said you're in grave danger. Like at all, through your entire, like, tirade. And even, like, when he moved, he's not, like, moved his head to follow you or anything. He's just standing perfectly still. I think that maybe he would, like, try and, like, get into, like, either get to eye line or like where where his like where he would have been looking um, mm-hmm. and you know did you know the classic like wave hello yeah and uh, like uh, uh, yeah nothing um 
and then I think he would like try and just like maybe maybe not the shoulder he might be a bit short but maybe like, like touch him on the, the side mm -hmm. yeah give him like physical um... yeah he's there yeah okay so I'm just gonna like face through him like <laughs> <a ghost. laughs> no he's he's there uh, like when you press into like his side and you let go like his robes don't like come back or anything they just stay like depressed we've oh, all been okay. there yeah and um i think maybe at that he would um try and move something else um like maybe if there's something on a shelf somewhere and like move it off the shelf and see if it just falls off the shelf or if it like stays in place in the air. Yeah. So, is it going to be that photograph of the Isoki silhouetted? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, yeah, it just stays where it is, mid air. Okay, I think it says. Okay. This is bad. You hear footsteps, like heels, on the stone monastery floor in the distance. Okay, I... Mm. So that would be coming from outside the room, like maybe like echoing down... Yeah, like it could be a couple of corridors away, given how echoey yeah. this place is, given how quiet it is now. Yeah. I think... Is there... Any way, like a uh, any sort of like, I don't want to say vents, but I want to say vents. <laughs> is is there like any sort of like wee small air passages or anything that you could like scramble through to try and? Uh, why don't you give us a stealth roll and we'll see how well you are at uh, gaining a stealthful position. Okay, okay, kaboom. So yeah, I was gonna say like not great. To be honest, at finding a stealthy place, but like, there, I guess there's under the bed or behind the Radiant Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes under the Radiant Supreme's robe and just sits. <laughs> oh dear, With that was. tail hanging out. Oh, it was so bad. Just this rat shaped But no, Anyway, so moving on. <laughs> he just like pulls like a blanket over the top and stands in the middle of the room. I like that you hide under the bed, but you put the blanket over the Radiant Supreme because you didn't know what else to do. <laughs> God, it's so dumb. Um, but yeah, um, it's un it's kind of hard to tell, but like it sounds almost like the um, the clack clack of the heels. We're just getting closer. Okay, I think um, Zig's going to. open the door and like just walk out and see what's there yeah that was the worst decision he's ever made but it's okay <laughs> um you can see obviously other people of the monastery um like are they all frozen as well though? yeah all like yeah. completely like still um you know some mid-step etc um mm -hmm. and then just this kind of clacking getting louder and louder Um, do I have like a better idea of which direction it's coming from, or is it like just echoing around? The uh, like it's probably coming from uh, back the way you came, right? Um, so back towards like the kind of meditation grounds and like the kind of like the, mm -hmm. the slightly more school side of um, yeah, the place. Um, I think what Zig would do is like uh, see. I'm trying to think. He would probably try and like go the direction of the walking but like like if it's heading like from that direction he would head to a point um of interest in that direction as opposed to just going to where the walking is um so if it was like you know oh well that sounds maybe like near the library I'd go the graduation the hall is that way i as is the um yeah. Yeah, let's just say the library's that way as well, right? And the library can be there near the hole. Okay. 
Well, if he would, he would like go towards the library and then the graduation hall if nothing happened to the library. So, you start um, obviously heading towards the library, right, first. Mm -hmm. And uh, you scamper down. Can you give me a stealth and also a perception? Stealth. Right there. Perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you get to a point where you, I don't know, hide behind, you know, statue of a big tall woman. You've now maybe realised it's Grace this whole time. Um, mm. And uh, you hide behind that and you get an eye on some, what just looks like, kind of, for lack of a better term, agents, right? People in suits. Um, they seem to be, like, walking around, taking readings, uh, measuring things, um, like, there's a pile of books that they seem to have taken interest in. And, uh, yeah. One of them is a blonde lady. Is Shoot this her. one a familiar blonde lady? It's hard to tell from this distance. Is it a certain idol? <laughs> Um, <laughs> who died <laughs> in a train? <laughs> no. Oh, wonderful Bianca Finn. Um. Imagine, right? She had visited <laughs> <laughs> just before graduation. How random that would be to climb the solar mountains. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote a song about it. Mm -hmm. it, was it was a massive hit. The solar sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> Um, was it the house of the rising sun? Um, mm -hmm. The sun of the rising sun. Yes. Um, okay, I think he would kind of try and follow the blonde person around, um, either out of, I guess, more out of like um, he's maybe he thinks it's you know. Maybe Isabel, but he obviously can't tell or whatever, and tries to get a better look. You know, you, you do that thing where you see someone you recognise walk past, and you go, "Oh," and you try and focus in on that person, and it turns out to be some random person with a beard that you weren't expecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, if you're gonna try and do that, then you're gonna give me a stealth, and then we'll see if it matters if you need a perception at that point. Oh well then. Do you want to give me a perception anyway? And we'll just anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yes, you get a very good look at this blonde lady who, when after like losing sight of her after following her, you do that thing where you comically turn round and she's just standing there, staring oh, yeah. at you. So you crit your perception check, funnily enough, on that one. <laughs> um, and yes, it is Isabel Furlder. I think he would like to say Isabel, he would, Isabel, and then maybe like stop halfway through, trying to figure out if it's Isabel or if it's Escape mm -hmm. from the past. Um, and, and then, then uh, like, so you have that like kind of that moment where you go Isabel, and then you have that thought of wait a minute, when is this one? And then yeah. Uh, like she holds up her data pad and like taps on it a couple of times and then just says Agents, we have a live one and then pulls out a gun and points at you to stun you. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hit with this weird wave that comes from the gun, right? Right. And then immediately your perception shifts again. Uh, where you're standing in some kind of like cylinder type field. Um, so there's no actual glass or anything, it's just this kind of like weird kind of red tinted field. Um, and she's standing outside it uh, in her kind of, you know, almost men in black-esque suit. Mm -hmm. and she's just kind of staring at you. And she goes, are you coherent? I think Sig would just say, mm-hmm. Good. Do you know 
where and when you are? Um, I guess he looks around because does he know where he is? I mean, it still kind of looks like it could be the monastery. Cool. Um, I think he was. Uh, I, I assume I'm still at the solar monastery. Uh, and then I think he would say, "When?" Um, I I hope graduation day hasn't happened yet. And she kind of has like a tiny smile, like a tiny smile that creeps onto her face. She goes, "No, nothing has happened yet." You have very good timing, Zig. She kind of when? taps on her data pad a couple of. Lines of whatever the hell she's tapping. When the god sends you somewhere, I mean, I guess the timing has to be impeccable, doesn't it? And she kind of looks down at herself and then looks up at you and goes, Yes, quite. And smiles and uh, taps some more on the, the date pad. She goes, so Do you know what you have done? feeling you're either going to tell me or you're going to say you don't know either. She smiles and goes, yes, it must feel that way. You... You will be uh, more aware in time. She kind of chuckles at that, as if she's shaking her head dismissively. That's a dumb fucking thing to say. Taps a couple lines on the data pad. And then, uh, like, heads towards like the door of the room that you're in, and kind of leans out, and you can clearly tell that there are people moving, like up and down, as if like lifting heavy stuff around. Mm -hmm. And then, a uh, one of the kind of voices that sounds more like kind of more male or masculine says, "The artifact's been moved. Uh, why wasn't this one frozen? Because he's not from here." That much is clear. I think this was why he sent us back here. And then there's some mutterings that you can't make out. I think he would just kind of shout out. Um, so, when are you? And Chikalit looks back at you in that kind of same way that you'd glance at somebody while having your conversation still. I am... Um, and then she kind of like dismisses the, the agent. And she heads back. Do you because it would be difficult if I was trying to explain this to anyone else, but I am from your future, affecting your past because of what you. No. Have caused. Again. I think Zig has that. Like you know, you know when your heart's like beating like really hard, and you feel it in the back of your throat. Mm. He's sitting there, and I think he's doing that. He's trying to fathom what it is. Mm -hmm. Like all the endless possibilities well, of what the conclusion of yeah, when you're called to the headmaster as well, and you're like, oh god, what what of many reasons could this be? Yeah. Um, um, and then, I, I think he's he's kind of stunned into silence at that. And she kind of, uh, I guess, like she kind of like pulls like a like a kind of like a, almost like stool type thing, like a stone kind of box I guess, out from the side and kind of like drags it over the floor and sits on it and she's like Did that make sense? Does He said it would I mean I guess I haven't done whatever it is yet, or if I have, I don't know what it is, um, 
what I'm about to do is going to change something that's going to make everyone have to come back. Wait, so you can come back? Fucking paradoxes. No, as well. You just hear her say that to the side. It's like, well, it's now painfully obvious that I explain and you learn what you did. This is. A just shakes her head and starts adding lines to the data pad. She goes, okay, now I understand why you understand, because I explained it to you. So, you shunted yourself and weird into another space-time. Let's go with that. And okay, yes. You did we, did we get nope, way? this is not question time. This oh. is listen time. And uh, you were then, again, from what I was told, you encountered an aspect of Triune. And as a result of you bridging this connection and coming back here, you allowed weird to request the solar egg be removed from the timeline. Oh. I see. It was not removed from this point in time. Oh. Which is a good thing. This means we can come back to take the egg so that we can have it later. Right. So, forgive me if I get this wrong, but Weird asked for the egg to be moved The same way I asked to come back here. Just slowly nods. But it didn't get moved from here. So, although it's been moved from everywhere else, or every when else. I have not checked every when else, but I am aware yeah. it's here because you told me it was here. We can still get it here. Okay, and I told you it was... When did I tell you it was here? Later. Or have I not told you yet? You will tell me. You don't need to know, because you have. <sighs> Zig takes a mental note that he really hopes he doesn't forget. <laughs> 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 yeah, Isabel, go grab the men in black and go back in time and stop me messing up the, the part where you get the egg. Yeah. Yeah, um... <laughs> And he just goes, I, I, uh, this is a lot. It's actually quite simple when you lay it all out. I'm sure it really is simple, but th th this moment for me in time is, uh. Yeah, there's theories about that. And she just looks at you. I'm sure it can be theorized later, or in the past, or somewhen. She just what? looks at you and kind of like slow, kind of grins without realizing necessarily that she's grinning because it, obviously this is maybe a conversation she's had before. Yeah. Um. And I guess. I guess it just says so. What what happens? And he reluctantly uses the word now. And then she kind of like stands up off the box that she's found and kind of shoves it back to the, the wall, wherever, like, whatever the purpose of this random stone cube that I needed her to sit on had before. And, um, big doorstop, possibly. And she, uh, kind of like cleans the back of her suit away from, like, the kind of stone dust. And says, Well, 
No, as you put it. We are taking the egg. This does mean that other things will have changed with the timeline. This is what we're trying to rectify. See, you have already breached linear time. Multiple mm. times, in fact. Mm. I think he, he kind of like looks nervously at that kind of uh, and then um, just says and has Galerium been replaced? Are we what's Raise his neighbor? Galerian? Fixed, even. What? Oh. Has that happened yet? You didn't mention anything about Galerian to me. Did um Oh no, I wouldn't know the weird would just mm. Had that conversation, so no. Um. Oh. I don't. Why? Why wouldn't? Hmm. Hmm. I think he just kind of thinks on that, as in, like, why? Why wouldn't? I think I've brought that up. Yes. To um. Maybe help your thought process here, Zig. You. Happened to be pulled to someone within the vault during a temporal shift. This normally would never happen, but you were in a liminal space at the time. The infosphere at Absalom Station. The library, as it were. Mm-hmm. You were within a reading room and you were taken through space, but sadly, as a result of the temporal displacement that Edgar Wesland was going through at the time within the vault, you were pulled to this and thus you anchored him there. Technically, I fell. I wasn't pulled. Technically, I'm going with what you told me. I think there's a good, you know, like, kind of pulls some hair out at the... Uh-huh. <laughs> He's like, ah, ah! Why can't I? I'm arguing with myself. <laughs> and she kind of like... Anyway, that moved you a year give or take, forward. Yes. That was the first breach. You have since moved back twice. Yes, the Radiant Supreme sent me back with um, Captain and uh, Lyco. And now I'm here now. No, because you were you were uh, interfacing with the the vault, and as a defense mechanism, the vault expelled you. No, 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 no. I was in the vault, and the Radiant Supreme was there, and. He sent me back. No, that never happened. And I think in Zig's mind we have that like flash of that entire bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With the Radiant Supreme standing there in the room where he like falls through. Um, Keep in mind, Zig, Zig has went back and taken the egg from graduation day since then. That's right. And yeah kept the Radiant Supreme alive 
in this altered timeline, and that was after you bumped into the Radiant Supreme in the vault. In the vault, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just FYI, in um, case that was unclear. No, 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 yeah, that, that, that was... And it's maybe still unclear. Where I'm at. Um, I mean, it's unclear, it's, like, let's face it, it's, it's time travel, it's unclear mm -hmm. for everyone. <laughs> and I think, but, um, as you, like, try and explain that to her, she kind of just, like, kind of slowly shakes her head and goes, You never told me any of this happened. Your events don't have these things happen. From when you tell me. So I can only assume our work here undoes this. I see. I don't see at all. But <laughs> I think I see. Um, so where we are, and he does like air quotes, now, or when we are now, changes what we've done or what I've done for something or other. This is a source of what you have deemed temporal trauma. The combination right. of existence within liminal space as a metaphysical, psychic, mystical entity, such as yourself, your own words, uh, being pulled through space, from liminal space, to a vault in a temporal shift has caused you to become somewhat stuck, like a rubber band, here. You keep bringing yourself back here. I think he, he kind of like looks up at, at Isabel. Maybe making eye contact properly for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably been avoiding like making actual eye contact. And maybe you can see like the slightly kind of like alterations to her, like where she does look that tiny bit more mature, right? Mm hmm. Um, and uh, I think he just. Maybe not even says to her, maybe even just to himself, just goes. Am I trapped? I mean, in this field right now, yes. She kind of like just like runs, you know, her finger like down the kind of red energy thing. This is to stop you shifting for now. Um, I don't. I don't think he even acknowledges. That. Yeah. Um, he's kind of like lost in his own sort of like reverie about this. And she goes, well, anyway, um, and starts like tapping on her data pad and like st like scrolling down. And she goes, so you were uh, expelled by the vault as a defense mechanism due to your attempts to mind link with it. This is a problem because the vault identified you based on its initial encounter with you, which is very difficult to track down given your unstuck in time nature, but it does seem to be the temporal trauma you experienced pushing you back to your graduation day to which you then decided to alter events drastically by keeping the Radiant Supreme alive instead of where he should have died and taking the egg so that Lan Terrell never got it, so in turn she did not die, allowing me to die. I think... Still with me? Yeah, I think maybe at that point, like, when he's still kind of like lost in the thing, and when it, like, she says allowing me to die, that's when he kind of comes back and looks back at her um, almost apologetically um, not quite but yeah and like she, <laughs> she acknowledges that you're like maybe paying attention again and she's like don't worry I don't hold a grudge the uh, problem with this though is that certain 
benefactors greater than you and I are displeased by this loop. My former and current employer Kaiser looks no, at you. Yeah, Abadar. Abadar. One, one, it, was, it was one of the two, sorry. Abadar is the bank, Aspis is the arms dealers. Yeah. yeah. So. Although. So I assume you say. I wouldn't put it past me. Abadar. Yeah, Abadar? Then she goes, yep. Abadar. You do realize that the. Uh, the vault is for lack of a more elegant way of putting it, his body. I guess that kind of makes sense. Everything's kept there, but uh, it's essentially a bank. Which kind of just like... Uh, Nods almost like, well, yep, you're at least making noise, that's something, as she's like <laughs> filing through yeah. clearly the, the list of stuff she has to read you. And, uh, <laughs> and she goes, okay, well, you've not passed out yet, so I take that as a good sign. You were unsure if it would happen. The uh, bigger problem you foresaw with this conversation is ultimately realizing that you are not allowed to prevent his death. Raising she kind of just like, like kind of bunches her lip up a bit, right? And kind of just like nods like once, okay. as if that sucks, kid, right? That kind of look. Yeah. Um. I was. I'm getting like a part of me. I'm glad because I was like, wait, hold on, or have I missed something else? And like somebody died. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm the cause of Lyco dying or something. I mean, that would stress me out. Um, but no, okay, I think he would just kind of, ah, I don't know how he'd react. I, th I think he's very like conflicted about his opinions of that. Um, yeah. Like, if he, if he lets the Radiant Supreme die, it undoes all the, like, self discovery parts that came from him like falling out with him over his like mm -hmm. and I think all of that just kind of like dumps into his brain at the same time. Maybe he's like mind links with himself. Not <laughs> literally mind links with himself, but like I imagine that's what a mind link to someone. This is how it always happens, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> and then like as you're like trying to process it and you take a bit of time, she kinda like, you know, looks at her watch and looks at her data pad and then just kinda goes So the other thing I need to explain is that you cannot then try and save Edzo fourteen. Trust me, you try. But if I don't try, then you don't come here to tell me this. So I'm hoping. <sighs> she just stares at you like with that kind of, you know, yep, that's that's the plan. <laughs> I think he's kind of like stunned a little bit and he's like but it's it's the... I think he talks to himself a little bit kind of like muttering as like it's the right right thing to do it's he didn't have to die so you would you told me you'd say that, and sadly, 
you're wrong. She kind of like gives you like a sympathetic look, and she's like, "This must be weird for you because I've been through this." And the very fact that I'm here telling you this means you get through this and understand it to convince me to come back here to fix it. Uh, right, uh, more... Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a way, like... For Zig to be like to come to terms with this, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really strong. Like at me as me as Callum, I'm very like, yep, yeah, okay, that's fine, right? We'll just do whatever. It's time travel. That's fine. We'll just avoid all this. But at the same time, <laughs> I think Zig's like, Zig came with a purpose, mm -hmm. and he enjoyed having a goal in mind. And mm -hmm. now that goal, he's being told that that goal's really bad. Mm -hmm. Um. And almost self-consuming. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe he'd just look up and say, what? What's... What? What bad? What? What? Why is it so bad that I succeed? Her, and her face kind of like drops a little bit. It's like, that's just it though. You don't succeed. That's why I'm here. You have knotted the timeline too many times. We are here to start unpicking them. And a lot of it starts here. And you'll keep coming back here. Because of me. Kind of like she yeah. lets out like a heavy sigh, as if like deliberately just trying to like speak over you with this, and she's like, "Yeah, yeah. okay, file two. and she like flips her data pad up again. And she goes, "So this is the in the event you don't believe me. Here we go. So you attempt to save the radiant supreme, and." Edzo 14 by altering graduation day thus stopping you being expelled by the vault later so by doing this you you die the first time which unsurprisingly slingshotted you back here and then, you try again. And then you save Edzo 14. And she goes after the Drow because of the Radiant Supreme dying. And she dies there. And then you go back again. Can you see the problem? They always die. Mm. I'm but I think he's he's kind of like fighting back tears at that point. He's like trying to trying to process the fact that like the I guess he's trying to weigh up the possibility of having to do this over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Um, she um, reaches into like her jacket and pulls out a tissue for you and hands in to the field. I think he just grabs it absentmindedly. Mm -hmm. and kind of like wipes himself down. Um, maybe even just wipes his like brow. Mm -hmm. kind of, um, just, just 
just a bit maybe more run down than he thinks he is um, or than he thought he was um, she um, brings the pack out and she says I've got one left by the way it was a pack of twelve she kind of like throws it in front of the field it's just like one hanky left in her little <laughs> you know packet you used them all I think he looks up and says, how many times have we done this? Too many times. I see. You're starting to. And I think, I think um, Zig maybe ca like kind of thinks back to um, when Nick's five are weird. Um, in between, I uh, was talking to Query, mm -hmm. like in that space, we're in the space, and at that point where then um, he's like, "Don't do what I did," blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. and, I was, and Zig was like, "Ah, but he's better." Mm -hmm. Um, I think Zig thinks back on that and just says, "I guess it's my turn to be better." And then, like, stands up, brushes himself off, and says, So, what do I need to not do? She kind of like does that thing where she's trying to smile, but most of her lips are pressed together. So, like, you get like her dimples appear. And she mm -hmm. say, She's like, Hmm. If you could do anything, for a light out of the stasis field. What would you like to do? Whatever I need to do. And he definitely has that sort of like break in his like mm -hmm. voice as he says that. Okay. okay, whatever you need to do for who? Like for you for you or for <laughs> air quotes, the greater good. As Zig says, the greater good back, there's this unison of voices. <laughs> no. <laughs> no I am good. all the jet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he says, well, I sent you back for a purpose. And I'm going to, for a change, trust myself. Although I don't know what it is myself. Wants. And I guess emotions, attempting to convey, I guess, future Zig who told mm -hmm. Zedkate to come back and uh -huh. tell past Zig all this. Yeah. Um, and she kind of nods. It's like, yeah, that checks out. And she looks at her data pad as if comparing what you've said. Um, and then she activates a, something on her wrist that deactivates the field and you kind of like like fall to the floor of the field if you will, like your feet like at least land on it, mm. the cold plate and then uh, she's like well, we have the egg so that's good she kind of just looks at you with like a very sorry look on her face, right? Yeah, I think I think the thing acknowledges it, and he's like, maybe not got that like empty eyes, but like very sort of like, I think he's physically actively just going into autopilot to get through whatever this is going to be. Um very um I'm trying to think of the right the right way to say it. <laughs> um because yeah, I, I don't want to say autopilot because autopilot would just be mind link with everything. Yeah. Um I I guess sort of suppressing anything that he like would actually want. Basically, you know, kind of soldiery grunt mode. 
Yeah, like just like an um, acknowledgement of some kind. Um, yeah, um, and like I guess deep down he actually does like appreciate the fact that she's acknowledging that it's going to be shitty, but in his mind, just, I don't think anything is going to like compare to how shitty this is going to be. Because mm-hmm. literally, yeah. she's telling you to move on, but like in a fucking temporal like timeline scale. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm sure, like, Future Zig has had plenty of time to come to terms with the fact that this isn't going to work. Yeah, and basically he's had to pep talk her into pep talking you to just accepting that now without then just being released from the field and immediately going to try it again. Yeah. Yeah, because so... obviously you're not that guy that failed, right? You can win. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that, that's literally <laughs> what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, but... Like, I could save them both at the same time and get the egg. I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> Twelve times the charm, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, so yeah, yeah. She uh, she kind of leans down, picks up the kind of packet of a uh, like one hanky that's left, and uh, she kind of like just offers it to you, and she goes, "You know, in case." I think he like grabs the hanky. And like folds it up really neatly, mm-hmm. and like just places it on the floor, and walks away. Okay, yeah. And she kind of just looks at it, and then just kind of looks at you. And you know, like slowly just shakes her head side to side. She walks to like kind of like catch up with you, a couple of steps, and uh, she says, "So, I did you a favor this time." And she kind of like, looks at you until like you kind of look up at her. And she kind of like hunches down a bit. She goes, I put the frame back on the shelf so it doesn't break. I think he. I think he smiles. Smiles at that. And she kind of just and nods just... and like smiles back. And uh, yeah, if you've got any last words, feel free to say them. No, I don't, I don't think he yeah. says anything. I think that's sort of like silent. Like, I'm uh-huh. happy with that. Yeah. And then a. Uh, we click back to the other guys who uh, Hi guys. make their way towards the Kivalari in the shuttle, right? Because that's a thing that you are doing. Because um, obviously, you know, our Skittermander is better at the sensors for obvious reasons. Um, no, none of those reasons are obvious. But, <laughs> you know, we, we, we do hope. So, yes, you uh, make your way to the Kivalari and you have options, right? You get there, the ship is just kind of floating in space. Um, there does not seem to be any obvious visual damage to the exterior, which is good, right? No massive like holes in the hull or anything. Uh, there is the upper floor and lower floor that has a cargo hold. Right, so you've got the lower cargo hold, sorry, that has entrances on the port and starboard side that lead directly into the cargo base, or the upper level has two airlocks at either side as well. So, where would you like to enter? Because you're obviously going to have to dock with it. Have we tried hailing them yet? Nope. You've literally just approached and done a kind of survey, if you will. Um, Yeah, so I think that the first step is to have furler. This furler, not mm-hmm. that furler. Um, <laughs> and no further. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, I'm drawing a line. In mm-hmm. the Here. And this no far and no further. <laughs> it's not a bad idea for the session title. It's not the first time we've made this joke. I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I think... Um, did you see we were on the shuttle? Sorry. Obviously. Yeah, you're on the shuttle. That was the plan, to take the shuttle. Yeah. Yep. As per that wonderful drawing that we did. Um, yeah. Uh, I was thinking after the initiated comms, but that's fine. Uh, you don't want the Azure Flare to comment though. Remember, because, because that would like ping. No, it's because it would ping the, the whole right. point. You were going to get closer in the shuttle and do like a. Right. Know, yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah. 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 Yes. I, I recall. Sorry. Like a, a hello. Um, you know. Um. But yeah. Like, like I, I. I don't know. I just. I feel like I sat through an entire other episode just. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I know that's cheeky <laughs> me. Um, 
So, yeah, I will ask the captain. You know, Kevin, do you want to you want to try and calm them? Um, yeah, let's 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 give it a little calm. So I will try and do the the proximity line of sight, whatever it's called, version. Okay, like the initiating like a tight beam calm to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is. Yeah, you can try that. Do you want to give me some computers? Certainly. Because computers. A twenty-three computers. Uh, you activate it, and what do you send? What are you saying? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> how about? This is just state a name and ask if they want assistance, if they need assistance. Okay. Uh, it's uh, big enough. Uh, yeah, so we we shouldn't necessarily give their name, so that's because that sounds suspicious, probably. Uh, so yeah. something like. Uh, I mean, it is printed on the side of the ship, right? Yeah. So, like, you okay. can, you can so, probably uh, read it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kivalari, if you. Hear us, this is the Azure Flare. Uh, do you need assistance? And then uh, there is the crackle of a static based on the wonderful technologies of sci fi horror movies. Mm. And uh, there's no response. Mm. But there was no incoming signal at all. So okay. it's unclear whether or not your message was even heard. Because it wasn't like somebody then connected the link and yeah. listened, right? I'll say, I'll say, I'll say it again. Here's um, Kivalari, this is uh, Azure Flare. We have a, a shuttle nearby. Is assistance required? And then just as the uh, the message clicks off, just the same static, not like the grudge disappeared. Captain, <laughs> or Vader. Do we want to try again, or do we? I think you see like Isabel oh. looking out the window of the the shuttle, just at the place goes. The lights are off. Stop taking a sudden. Um. Yes, we go in from. Hmm. And then, yeah, you've got like the upper level port or starboard, which has got like a single door airlock, or you've got the double door cargo bay um, airlock. Cargo bay? Cargo bay sounds the best. Port or starboard? Uh, starboard, why not? Right side, because it's the right side. I'll see it, Isabel. Well, it looks like we're not making a visual contact. And on that note, I will do the. I'll just kind of close my eyes for like a wee minute, you know, and do a wee astrological sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, do you want to roll mysticism for me, buddy? Okay, let's do the mystical mysticism of mysticism. Is and then everything else that your astrological sense needs. Yes, yes. But I need a mysticism roll from you. Cool. Okay, mysticism. Alright, what else did your astrological require for it to work? Uh, you just need to roll a 1d100, 75% chance of success, and then you just tell me if a good or bad thing What is with all the secret GM rules? I don't know. Uh, but you basically just need to tell me if good or bad things will happen in the next half an hour with the action that we're about to take, and that is both the, the Kivalari. The Kivalari. Right, okay, how do you want the numbers to work on the d100? Mm, 25 and lower as I feel. Right, okay. Cool, and then the the seventy five chunk at the end of the is a success. Okay, and what are my options to tell you? It's like wheel woe and wheel woe, right? Ah, uh, it's like basically warm, cold, and I'll look warm. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> good buddy. Oh my god, I'm not look warm, man. I'm, I'm never getting this fucking. <laughs> yeah, like it basically says, answer unclear, ask again later. Um. I will so, release my default. 
Thank you very much. But so as you stretch out to make the connection with your astrological sense, there's this nice uh, CG graphic that we obviously played a, paid a very uh, you know distinguished uh, graphic design company for, where we you know we have like the you know the expanding universe within your eyes type visual, and then you know, all the stars burst out and you find your place within the universe and all that jazz. And uh, well there is a lot of twists and turns and bends and it's not as um, straightforward as it normally is. Yeah, like you reaching out to a uh, like feel what's about to happen is very difficult. To the point where it's as if something has affected your astrological sense. Which is probably I mean, completely new to Zora. On the plus sense, on the plus side, I mean, I kind of know I've got the ability to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, what? <laughs> so, oh. yeah, it's definitely... I don't know, it's like trying to like use binoculars and then you obviously come against a brick wall, right? And then you keep looking, and then the you know the brick wall it stops, and then you can see normal again. And you're like, wait a minute, what was the brick wall about, I'm right? So I'm gonna take that wee wall as a wall, then. So um, <laughs> yeah, definitely, probably would come across that way, right? Because nothing good has ever been obfuscated, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, but what, what's yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you definitely have a bad feeling about this, right? And you wanted to come <laughs> yeah. in. You wanted to come in from the right side, didn't you? The starboard side. Um, so let me just work out what the fuck side that is for my own benefit. Probably um, would see me like jerk out of that though and probably shake my feet a wee bit because I'm like, what the <laughs> Is anyone staying on the uh, the shuttle? Um, I <laughs> think I will, certainly. <laughs> I, don't. I probably shouldn't stay behind with all the hit points and. Yeah. So. <sighs> Do you want Isabel to stay behind or come with you? Um, I mean, I would, again, like her skills, but it's, I guess it's slight danger if we miss the shot. I could just go, we'll, we'll leave the shot, alright. We'll secure our way down. It's a pretty straightforward shot. Okay, yeah. I mean, so you want her with you? Right? Uh, is yeah, this... yeah. I think she'll just be like, you're the captain. I could go to a backup shot, alright. She blinks. Yeah, like, if we lose the shuttle though and the comms don't work on the key Valari, how are we going to tell them? Hmm. Good point. Good point. Fair. Actually, fair. Fair. Okay. Okay. Do you want to guard it? She kind of blinks because, oh, I see. So he brought me along to babysit the shuttle. I mean... Cox her space gun, you know. That's possibly the, the, the easy job. Yeah, sure. So when all the aliens come for me. Ah, okay. And she just kind of uh, slings the gun over her shoulder. Goes, don't worry, a thing about it. I'll be here. And she just like sits down on one of the couches and puts her like feet up on the coffee table in the middle. She's like, play dead if anyone comes. Good luck. Yep. She just kind of like, you know. She gives you a look. Weird. That is a. I have a joke for this, but you're not even worth it. <laughs> um, I'm used to it. Yeah, there's probably something about your personality, but uh, you know, we'll never know. We'll never know what it was. Um, and you know, fans upon fans and the ages to come that dissect this in their uh, media studies class will obviously debate what the joke would have been. But um, th th don't ever. Why know. did they choose to go to Ryan University? Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> it's called Triumph Tutelage, I'll have you know. <laughs> and it's not a pyramid scheme. Not at all. However, yet, the funny enough, the, the architecture of the building is very pyramid. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I think we we manoeuvre onto you guys docking with the uh, the Kivalari and uh, Isabel at one side of the uh, airlock closing the shuttle airlock and be like, don't get eaten. And just hitting the button really quickly. You <laughs> too. Thanks. And then she floats through the glass between the two of you. Or the, the two groups, I should say. And then uh, the double door is obviously like <laughs> open. Uh, you know, vents into like a dark, dark room. 
that you uh, step into, and uh, then there's the the blinking of a uh, like you know sensor activated lights that you know flicker a couple of times and then illuminate with horrible fluorescent lighting. A uh, a big cargo bay, which we're bam. We're bam. We boom. Uh, there you go. We boom. Well, been a while since we've done this. Ah. Well, that's a map. All right, imagine. That's the end character. Um, yeah, also, right. I updated oh, like was R. I don't know if it's showing yet. I'm going to refresh and see. I, I'm unsure. This Remember was a um, piece of art we discussed previously. Uh, yes. I do. Uh, I this is. A map. Uh, that hasn't happened. That's okay. You can't see a map. Sorry. Oh, I'm just refreshing my thing. Ah. Yeah, I'm not seeing it updated anyway on this token, so that's fine for now. I just see darkness. Uh, I go up. I mean, I did try and move you. Um, I, I, think I see everything, but I don't know if I. No, I, I don't see everything. I see the I room. I see this one room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this room is it. This is one of the cargo holds. <laughs> but I can flex myself, but I can't see anything. Interesting. Give me two seconds. I'll check your token's uh, capabilities. My eyes. Oh, you don't have sight, apparently. You see Hello. it there? I can now. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you st do you have dark vision, or did you get rid of that? Uh, let me consult the, sharp, the spreadsheet of next changes. Um, but yes, so... We'll sort all that out. You can see the room, which is good. And, uh, yeah. That's uh, where we end the session. Ooh. Quite frankly. Um, this is merely my, 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 my token box, in case I needed to know who was going to be where. This was my stand-in for a... What do you call them? A query. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out who that was. Um... But yeah, that was my stand in. Because um, I was like, I've got the best be team. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, right? I'd be on that team in a heartbeat, quite frankly. Yeah. So, we uh, end the session there. What would you like to call the session? Because I wrote down two different things. Um, one of them was 12 times, the, sorry, 12 times the charm, and this far and no further. That's disgusting. I mean, they, they, they're both good, though. Uh, like, yeah, like it's a handful of zigs. <laughs> it zigs all the way down. So I'm gonna it's just use zigs more. Yeah. <laughs> was it uh, a fistful of zigs? The zig, the zig, and the zig. Zigity, zigity, zigity zoo. Twelve times charm. The bad and the ambivalent. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think zig, of all zig, the other zig, Clint Eastwood films. A fistful of eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time in the sun. I mean, I'm gonna vote. So, if you've got other suggestions, type them in and vote, please. Um, we'll see what happened. What are the thoughts, gang? CC and the fence. <laughs> I loved the rules for the hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. But anyway, that's a wrap-up chat conversation. Oh, okay. We are on to the. Uh, so that's far no fun, because it's just too. I mean, it's it's, too it, good. it's terribly good, and it's been a, a joke that has been said so many yeah. times, time and time yeah. again. In my mind, I'm adding, I'm drawing the time here. Time after time? Time after time. Yeah. Cindy Lauper? Would that be the ending theme to this game? Probably. Um, as, you know, Alice... Cindy L. Lauper? <laughs> Cindy L. Lauper. Dun 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 dun. Uh, well, okay, cool, we've got a name for the session. Um, <laughs> man. That's ridiculous. Uh, Cindy a Lopper, if you ever actually go to Eox and get the uh, Electroencephalon and then find Ramaseto again and then resurrect, Cindy a Lopper has to be a session title we work in somehow. 
to love if so. Um, right, goals. Emsy, complete a goal. The. Well, we've got to the stewardship. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. You're actually well, on. You're on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on it, but I don't think we can consider it completed just yet. No, because no. you have none of the options you have asked for. Indeed. Thus and so. Uh, right, okay, what do we want to do about establishing self-sustaining revenue? Is it in play? Uh, Is it being shelved for uh, making way for a better goal, like a more immediate goal? What's the plan? Yeah, but I think of a better immediate goal. Because I mean, it should be shelved, but I can't kind of think of a better immediate goal. It just depends if you've got anything else you wish to achieve in the immediate future that isn't covered by Go 4. Everything that is covered is like Go 4 and then Ivan is a part of Go 4. Yeah, he's contingent you could say on Go 4. I feel like maybe a role of the crew that would come after probably Go 4. Like, for maybe Supreme, but so I don't know. Yeah, I'm cool. We should just stay. I don't know. I'm not sure I can't think anything else. Personally, for now. Mm. Yeah. Any other th changes or edits or conversations we need to have about goals? Because we've obviously got established self saying revenue, find clear your role in the crew, retrieve Ivan, the king of old baby, what's that worth? Get the stewardship until corpses and confront the Radiant Supreme about time travel and how much he already knows and knew about Zig's importance in picking up the solar egg. Mm. No, that's up for debate. <laughs> Is it? That depends on your view. <laughs> Does it? Because, I mean, he Let's might have point. witnessed it. <laughs> uh, um, right, I'm going to ask Callum the question. Like that. Does Callum think that he confronted the Radiant Supreme about what the Radiant Supreme knew? about Zig's importance in the egg? Well, I think the big question for that part would have been some the, the, the long lines of why me and then you did all this, blah 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 blah. Why? Um, but then he didn't say anything, so it depends on whether or not he needed to be co like conscious at the time. Or not frozen in time. <laughs> not frozen in time. For that to be... Imagine he wasn't and he was just socially awkward. It was just. Uh, He's like, I'll just uh, stay still. I'll, do you know what? I'll just ignore <laughs> it and it'll go away. That does work, then. Right. I mean, that's how I solve my problems. <laughs> um, which is why I'm the, the walking social disaster than I am. But. Not to unpack our demons quite so uh, profusely at the moment. But. Yeah, no, I'll wait, I'll wait ba for back on the goal question. Uh, you're going to wait for the pre game, post game. Um, pre-game, post-game, yes. Post-game, yeah, pre-game. What's your um, What's your thoughts on goal five? Because I feel like you wanted a conversation with the the Radiant Supreme. But that's me. I mean, I did, but I'll happily take your goal. <laughs> well, the thing is, right? Do you have anything to replace it with? There's plenty of things. Like find out why my grandparents are bad omen. Um, <laughs> who is Zig and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Um, because again, like, if see, you feel like, so, let's let's discuss this goal specifically. Right? So, if you think that goal is complete, if you think Zig has confronted the Radiant Supreme, as far as I'm concerned, that that's done. But do you think that there's more to that story? Right. Or is it done? Right? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I think that's not true. I don't. No, yeah, that's not true. That was a lie. But for for everyone in the world, I sent right in a private message saying, I hate you. <laughs> and I'm replying saying, you mean love. <laughs> and I, I hate mean, love? Yes. Yes, I do. You um, mean love. It just means you're mean, love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no, <laughs> that's the problem. Then it's not complete, is it, buddy? Oh, 
why can't I just be like a gamer gamer? <laughs> because you think there's more to it, and there clearly there is. is. Which oh, means you haven't even... Annoying. This oh. means you haven't heeded future Zig's advice. You do realise that, and I love this. Um, <laughs> I hate this game so much. <laughs> Again, you mean love. Ah, uh, yes, I hate this love so much. Mm -hmm. um, what is love? Please stop hurting. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um, yeah. God damn it, why can't I just like lie and say I, I believe that is dumb? But no. Okay, so do you want to shelf it or complete it uh, in terms of the? Do you like leave it in slotted, or do you want to move it to the side and put something else more pre pressing? Uh, see, initially, what was going to happen in the ideal world? What <laughs> just going to happen. Just mind link with uh, this this S K. Run while well, she's reeling through time, probably. Run to yeah. find the range beam. Tick off the goal. Run back and apologize, and. Uh, um, you Kim so that he definitely <laughs> dies so that you don't have to worry about saving it. Irradiate everything. The, the Irradiant Supreme. The Irradiant <laughs> Supreme. Um, that would be Zig's title. I'm, tra I'm, trying to th I'm trying to think what like a good goal to put in would Radiator be. Radiator Supreme. Does MDLs um, have a recommendation then for like Zig to put goal Because initially wise? it was going to be get out of uh, the... Get out of graduation day with Edzo 14, but that's kind yeah, of... Yeah, you're, you're being warned away from that, so... Yeah, Buy yourself from the future. Like, Fuck you, I'm going to do my own goal. I'm going to just do this, because I'd feel, like, really bad. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Um, uh, so, here, on that exact note, then, it could be a uh, try and understand the wisdom of future Zig. Right? Uh, yeah. Because that means it would be about you trying to come to terms with the fact that you are drawn to Radiant Supreme or and I Dead guess Zo. more like uh, yeah, come um, understand or come to terms with or accept. Shoot. Um. <laughs> no, sorry. I've come from the present to the future to shoot you because of what you did to me in the past. Our past. <laughs> yeah. Also, SK, I need you to go back in time and help some things. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back to the so fast if I, if future. I plop that there. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. And um, that's and aim. Going to the future. Kill Zig in the future. No. Um. Do it. Do it. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> that's what they're trying to make sure. There's only one. Haven't you? <laughs> They're trying to streamline okay. the timeline. Um, so you're just like fortifying my point then? Go mm -hmm. kill the Alzig. This isn't Jet Li the one. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, thought, I, I loved that movie. Know? I loved that I movie. It was good. <laughs> some sort of GM or something. I know, right? So it's like <laughs> some, some, some weird author ability. Some sort of game master over here? It's a like fourth wall breaking shit, man. I know. Guys. Yeah, I'm not into that. Are you I gonna press know, I'm gonna game mastering? You're gonna press enter at any point so the rest of us can see what you're up to, your kill. Uh yeah, hold on. <laughs> uh gonna have to turn with um <laughs> Sounds like my singing. Yeah. Uh, that was my favorite Christmas carol. Thank you. Oh, I should get you a Christmas card, and it's just one of those ones as the recording message thing, so I'll just sing a carol for you. <laughs> That's my mum. Oh, nice. Yeah. Shout out to Alex's mum. <laughs> Lovely lady. Indeed. She's the reason this game can exist, in part. How mad is that? I mean, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, okay, so goal five. He actually wrote a Starfinder. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my secret revealed. She's actually <laughs> where I'm getting all my my info from. Um, so try to understand future Zig's wisdom and come to terms with abandoning present Zig's goals. Right. So that is very good, and I understand what you mean by it. However, you could never complete that goal. Oh God damn it! Do you know why? 
Because I said try. No, no. Uh, hold on. Does MDC work? And future six wisdom and come to terms with abandoning present Zig skills. Because Zig, the Zig is always present, Zig. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, no it means this is it. <laughs> the thing is, this is a present Zig call. So, by completing it, he wouldn't have come to terms with abandoning it. Is he future or past, like, like both? So, the abandoning, hold on. Prior the what? goal <laughs> of. Why did you just write past goals? Of. The Zig of the past. She's filled with secrets. <laughs> Is that your your backwards speech? That you're backwards, Will not so backwards. Rock? It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> it's just so good. I actually was talking about Twin Peaks today, full enough about the twenty-five years later thing. It's just good. Uh, right, how are we doing, Zig? Okay, try to understand right. future Zig's wisdom and come to terms with abandoning the goal of the Zig of the past, who happens to be the Zig oh, of... Oh, I've run out of them. Um, words in English language. The Zig of now, but not present Zig. Sure, that'll do. <laughs> Got it. That's I said it locked in. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Um, so Zig's arc. You're tolerating <laughs> nonsense. Yep, uh, good. That's us got some goals for next time, folks. That I am pleased by this. Uh, we have a session title. Let us do our wrap up chat. Uh, why don't we just start with uh, Zig? Because let's face it, we're probably going to end with Zig as well. <laughs> That's fair. Um, man, I loved everything that Zig wasn't a part of. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> it was so good. Um, no, like, genuinely. Um, it was amazing. It, like the Fez, um, PC in the Fez was just brilliant and just made me happy. Yeah. Um, ah, uh, ah, uh, it just uh, with two it's tassels. The best I need. <laughs> uh, I can't wait till CC and Ivan get together. Oh my god, it's gonna be absolute um, fucking carnage. <laughs> you have plenty of spare parts, right? I just hope you are able to hide all your possessions because CC will feed them to Ivan. Oh dear. Locked up at the army. I've still discovered. <laughs> Why don't you go back in time and get another Ivan? <laughs> right. I mean, uh, we've been abusing this time travel. We've been used to doing it for the wrong thing. Don't, don't you speak to me about that. I disagree. <laughs> I've not changed one thing. No, because you keep trying to look forward in time. I know, I mean, I try to defy time, okay? I, try, I don't try to, like, change it. Every time you look forward in time, it goes, hmm, it uh, doesn't look good, by the way. And he goes, how? Like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But sorry, Zig, please continue. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the... Just, again, the sort of, like, juxtaposition between the crew gubbins and Zig gubbins been it's been very 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 nice and interesting um i i really enjoyed um what was it um when colin was doing his disguise and you were like oh what do i need to roll <laughs> and colin just shouted i don't know <laughs> i mean that's <laughs> very us <awesome. laughs> um honestly i think like if Starfinder had like a bunch of quotes for their system on like the, the back of the book, that's um, that oh, should be it's, one. How, how does this work? Oh, it says it's under the poison rules. There's another one for the back <laughs> of the book. Aye. Um, also, irradiate does how much damage? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. I know how it does. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know how it works now. Oh, or replace every uh, full stop with a question mark. That's just thirteen to each. Would... Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but I appreciated their honesty. Mm -hmm. you cast the one them, and then they get like a level of radiation, and then like I think every level, if they keep on failing charisma checks, the radiation level builds up, and mere effects start building up. Charisma like, checks. Is radiation not a constitution poison effect? 
Yeah, as as yeah, it's a poison yeah. effect. It is a poison effect. But that's how like all poison effects work. I think is like every turn you've got to like save, and if you don't save, you just build up on a table until you die. So you have yes. folks at home. The world is a poisoned vampire. Um, Can you poison a vampire? Is it setting? Any, the um, first poison is the deepest. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's just loads. Oh my god, <laughs> that session. <laughs> that session. Um, I was. The, I'm very happy. Like, I, I'm. I'm glad that like the way you approached the going back to graduation day thing with the. Right. Okay. I really enjoyed that a lot. I'm um, glad. Didn't love it though, but I uh, enjoyed it's fine. You know. <laughs> no, I. I really. Enjoyed it. it was just. It was amazing. Um. I. Yeah, because last time, obviously, I was not actually expecting for that to actually happen. <laughs> Because when does going, ah, can I do this? <laughs> Actually, just go. It's Not terrifying, really, isn't it? You'd, it would be like if it was anyone else, it would be met with a sigh going, ah, oh. uh, no, 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 no. No. Um, but yeah, so I, I was very, very kind of excited to see how that would progress. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I loved that. Uh, I also, the. I think my favourite part of all of that was just that little touch where she was like, "Ah, oh, and I did you a favour this time. I moved the the, the frame mm -hmm. back back on the shelf so it doesn't break." And I was like, "That was a really nice touch." Yeah, um, turns out Isabel's all right. <laughs> yeah, she's like, right. um, also like nothing about the weird ominous. You're in grave danger from the Radiant Supreme, though, way. Eh? I mean. <laughs> I'm concerned. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, <laughs> but at the same time, um, it isn't like just danger. <laughs> mm. I think that yeah, it was a translation error. You are grave danger. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe they could just like put the in in his mind mm -hmm. as he heard it. <laughs> Self defense mechanism. Da you are grave danger. <laughs> the graves are dangerous. He was telling you to watch out for going, ah, like, yeah. if you're going to stroll in the graveyard um, at night, because mm -hmm. you trap. Basically, don't go to Eox. I'm, <laughs> I'm also very interested to see how this will affect um, Lanterel and the egg, and where it's going, and when it's going, and who dies and who doesn't die. I guess the Radiant Supreme and Dead Zone 14 have to die, based on what um, Isabel said. Mm -hmm. But, oh man, it's getting confusing now. <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm glad you've been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun to like explore, not only um, splitting the party over space, but also through time. That's been a new experience um, for me as a GM. I will not include time travel in a future game with Callum. Uh, <laughs> what? Maybe in a past game with Callum, but never a future ah, game. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I know, right? Ooh. Tense much. <laughs> um, um, but no, yeah, well done. And obviously, I you know, just enjoyed playing with everyone. It was lovely. Thank yeah, you. it was good. It was a good, good, it was a good evening. Yes, thank you. Um, can we hire from... Weird. Hello. 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 Uh, yes, yes, you can. That's his new character voice. And, uh, <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Weird too. His like <laughs> fucking O2 mix on his suit uh, is off. <laughs> uh, that was a, a wonderful session. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, no, um, thank, thank you for playing. Yeah, thanks for being part of it. The dice continue to hate me as ever. Yeah, they were like quite meh tonight, right? Like the best roll was the SK standing in front of a uh, Zig roll for the yeah, perception I mean, check. I think I rolled three times and two with nat ones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ooh, that was, yes. Yeah, that was true. solid. Um, yeah. I think I'm just annoyed roll 20 lately. I've been having that a lot. I, uh, what I, the other night I had advantage on an attack in D&D and I rolled two nat ones. And then on my follow up bonus action attack, I got a nat one. Oof. And it's just like, cool. I'm just, I'm going to lay down for a bit, guys. Yeah. It's a very improbable situation you find yourself in. I had that in a Wednesday's game, actually, where one of the players died. 
Like, yeah. oh, the, the yeah. character anyway sure. did. Um, and uh, yeah, that's such a <laughs> Scott and died. they decided not to use like advantage or any form of mechanic for inspiration that I've built into Twitch. And uh, they they rolled and they got three fails, and yep. their their last fail was a one. So they're like, oh, and I was like, do you want to just roll anyway so we can roll out any possible doubt? And he rolled another yeah, nat yeah. one. So if he had advantage, it'd have been two nat ones. So yep. Wow. He was right. destined for death. Destined for death. <laughs> Roll twenty be like that sometimes. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Sometimes it um, do. Mm. Um, yeah. So I'm kind of yeah when I'm running rolling a session like that and the GM asks you to narrate how it happens, my my character just lays down prone, <laughs> closes their eyes. They have they have accepted fate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. It's an important philosophical moment for my character. Mm-hmm. If only their physical health represented that. Um, but yes, no, that was a uh, nice aside. There was some solid RP there. Um, I do enjoy the shenanigans with Sig and trying to keep up with time <sighs> business. Yeah, the phrase trying to keep front. up with time is very important, I think, because what the fuck? Yep. Like. As somebody who is also trying to run a time loop narrative, <laughs> um, although I think I've gone for a different philosophy of yours. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to go for the stable loop with predestination, but within a role playing game where players can make their choices. Ah, so uh, you've which, thought about it, I see. No, I've, it's a stupid thing to do, because <laughs> these things That's, really work on TV when they can write them from the start. I was going to say, yes, that is the, the mm. reason why I've never ever intentionally written a time travel story. Yeah, no, I uh, started with the time travel built into somebody's backstory, mm. and now two years later the players have realised, and <laughs> ow, ow my head. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, Mm. holding together but yeah no, so we'll play to you for multi-crossing time streams thank you um, it's horrible I do, <laughs> I do recommend anyone with Netflix should go and watch Dark the German time travel alright I didn't know it was about time travel yeah, I will about, uh, it's on my list oh, Yeah, it is for absolutely fantastic and uh, really really intelligent in its approach to time travel nice um I am fond of so, this. I'm going to add that to my list right now. Same as yeah. a Tales from the Loop, as I have mentioned multiple times. Please, guys, Ooh. if you haven't seen it, just go watch it. It's actually oh. a really amazing series on Amazon Prime. I've not seen um, it, but I do have the rule book. Yeah, like, honestly, mm. Alex, treat yourself and just... Oh. It, it's not a particularly long series either, but it was yeah. one of those ones where I think I mentioned this before. I found myself with... Um, anxiety at the end of the last three or four episodes because I didn't know if there were the last episodes and I found myself actually being uncomfortable being like what the fuck's wrong with me this episode isn't even like upsetting or scary I'm like oh, I just don't want it to end and that's, that's what actually gave me anxiety for the, the last say three episodes of that show and it was horrible <laughs> the show was great but that feeling was awful I'm like I have never been this attached to a TV show in a long time because they just the atmosphere of the show is amazing but Anyway, sorry. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I just kind of... Is, I will always continue to enjoy the um, actual proper space investigation and ship management done by the captain and Laika. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a nice counterpoint to I am the chosen one and I am spinning through time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's Not almost like you've went back to... actually <laughs> believes he's really the chosen one, <laughs> given that he was slightly unimpressed with the gods. Um, uh, I did like that back and forth with the queen, uh, to be fair, though. It's like, yeah, how does it feel to be neither? And then you're like, yeah. well, I'm chosen by the gods. It's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the chosen one was the friends of me along the way. Uh, maybe, yeah. Um, Where are they then? Yeah, I mean... They're they're still I think that's like the, the new junk rats. They're still waiting yep. on Akaton. Um <laughs> goal is there. <laughs> oh we'll get there eventually, right? They weren't in Zig's time debrief of bad decisions, so that's fine. Oh. Yeah. Okay, My goodness. <laughs> uh, sorry, Alex? Uh no, that's everything for me. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Zora. Was fun. I was like in the, the back and forth between the ships. Good mm-hmm. jokes, good puns. <laughs> An active use of the mute button on each side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was good. Um, it was fun. 
it's uh, what? the reason why I like the back and forth at the moment is because it kind of feels like we're at the stage of the TV show where people have familiarity enough with everybody's like standing relationship with each other, where yeah. you can now appreciate when somebody looks at somebody else. And it's like, mm -hmm. mm, like, mm, yes, the royal we holds up fingers. The queen, no, no comments. <laughs> no, <it's> don't speak. Because <laughs> you know she'd have been like, I'm the only royal one here. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Wait, what, what have you got yourself in it? It's like, and what? Um. Good luck. <laughs> uh. Thank. Wish you the best of luck. I mean, he's kind of getting himself out of it, right? Yeah, I've been <laughs> doing a good job so far. Um. Yeah, no future zig will do a good job of getting this zig out of it. I just well, need to get this zig to that zig. Now that he knows that you made a woman. Get our head blown off. He's just shaking his head. Medicat. 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 It's fine. Because you'll probably forget about it. Mm -hmm. Too much shit going on. Aye. Like in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> Bianca Fain losing her head in a tragic transport accident. Um, aye. Sadly, you know. <laughs> Bigger likes to worry about she does the about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she did <didn't> me. <laughs> <laughs> I still just yeah, can't get yeah. over the part where he just sat and pretended to be her. That's what? the part that just... <laughs> man! That was, yeah! That was I like to believe that it was just Zig in shock, right? That is what I write that off to be. Not a monster, in shock. Um, <laughs> you have to go on your relationship. Yeah. <laughs> so key goblin. Yeah, or fiend, I guess. <laughs> fiend? Nah, man. Goblin. <laughs> Gobble fiend. Oh dear. Oh, thanks, after. The things I thought and the, the, the Aspis tower was definitely Fiends. Mm -hmm. Pretty yeah. sure that pretty sure Zig's just a wee, wee terror gob. Mm -hmm. You're collecting those, right? That's your thing, right? Uh, oh dear. Yeah, we, I've got terror gob on two in CC. Who <laughs> 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 now has a fez, by the way? Uh, well, he gave it to Alice, uh, but like, yeah, that was a big moment. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Mm -hmm. I, I could feel the connection. To be honest. <laughs> See if she gets ice cream stuck on it though. Oh. And that's pretty usual. Enjoyed Fanida and uh, SK. Thank you. She's still a traitor at this point in time, but she becomes alright, it sounds. Mm. Right? Because there's that conversation she had as a, in, the, in, the, in the cutscene. I know, it's just because she listens to Future Wise Zig. Especially <laughs> Radiant Supreme Zig. That's what. Ah, 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 yeah, ah. The, the Radiant Supreme Zig. Yep. That's yeah. what I hear. Um, <laughs> what if Zig is Edgar? Yeah, right. And it's obviously Edgar. he reaches out to himself through the weird vault slash body. And you irradiated yourself, which is how you became that big black misty thing. You are in fact That's radiation. radiation mm. yeah. Hence why you could feel... God, that makes so much sense. Right, give me a second, guys, to take some notes. <laughs> I am become Zigabyte. Yes. <laughs> I did that to Nick's campaign as well. Uh, Ooh, here's a theory. Yeah, you've just that. trained Zig too well. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the soldier you needed. Yeah. It wasn't roguish lone wolf Lyco. It wasn't um, the rebellious, uh, you know, entrepreneur Emmeline. It was not your bomb building, arm gaining um, mechanic. And uh nor any of the other shenanigans that have creeped around. It was adorable medkit, destroyer of systems. How do you feel about killing a god, Zig? <laughs> At this point, my experience with God so far, um, I don't agree with them so far. I mean, oh, that was the most disagreeable god, to be honest. Yeah. I, go kill the God I, of I did find interesting that Future Zig didn't mention um, anything about um, the, the, the rebuilding of, of Larian. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You never mentioned a thing about that to this Isabel, apparently. Yeah, why didn't you do that? Yeah, I don't know. Zig. I need to find <laughs> out. <laughs> or I need to go to the future and then tell her. Then you can go back and change and then this go back so I can have that conversation. I like that you go back and go. Sorry, I'm just. I'm, I'm an extra zig. I'm just here to listen. 
<laughs> make sure it's done properly this time. Yep. Don't look, mind me. Like I'm a just, supervisor. I'm make sure that this zig fills in all the blanks. Before that, Isabel puts the, you, the zig, into the stasis field. You put her in the stasis field and go, right, here's the chat. Take notes. <laughs> Listen to this. Don't ignore this. Tell him this. <laughs> Ask him that question. Oh, and then here, there's that goddamn hanky. <laughs> Picks up off floor. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just get on the floor and just snort into the hanky directly. So speaking of that, uh, Nico, anything else you wish to add? Uh, oh, <laughs> that thank you for it. I don't know. You're more, more welcome. Hi, Michael. Hello. Hello. I like the bit where we did stuff with the thing. Oh, I uh, sorry. Sorry, I like the fact that I know that I can see things. Yeah, like your astrological sense. It's actually gave me a tingle that I've mm -hmm. just been like, ah, well, I just fell asleep for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> now it's actually like, you know, wait a minute, my place in the universe in the grand scheme of everything? What? That I'll think about that later. <laughs> Got a bad feeling about this. Um, and obviously something locally affecting it. Mm. Mm. I just wouldn't be mad bad feeling about it. If we did a day that, I'd have probably just fell asleep for another minute. Aye, but that's fine. Whatever it was that done it, I don't know. Whatever it was that was doing it. But anyway, yes, Paul. Michael? Yes. I liked that we ended the session in a manner quite akin to how we ended the first session, isn't it? Mm hmm. I, I I just like that, like getting the gang back together and going on a little shipboarding adventure. It's Mine very minus Sig, but Sig wasn't there the first episode, either, so true, true, true. Um, yeah. Obviously, he was busy anyone. at the, you know, at the sun graduation. Sure, right. it's graduation so day. Happy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, days again, right? That's usually what happens. Yeah. And thus the campaign starts again. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh no! Have you told Olka to update our character sheet? Isolation <laughs> rule, please, in the background. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So that that was a fun little. It was a nice little touch. That sort of sense of. What what would you call it? I mean, not not symmetry, but it's like um. Very similitude. Yeah. Um. We we have we have these threads running through. It's nice when something sort of crops up in a, in a sort of really bang. Like so that's the first thing I thought. Of this, so I was like, this reminds me of Spooky Baskerville. It's almost um, like you could say there's fragments of nostalgia laced through the uh, game. Fragments of nostalgia. Um, yes. Uh, that's the sequel so that game's was, title, was, by the way. That was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun for me just. I like doing the shipboarding stuff. That's, mm -hmm. that's cool. It's nifty. Uh, the chaos of the uh, sorry, it's getting to that time where I start yawning. <laughs> the chaos of like the the multi-person phone call essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, not phone call, but the yeah. sort of uh, the communication beam. Uh -huh. <laughs> God. Um, and trying to sort of organise everything. That was quite that was quite fun. I sort of getting the characters to bounce off each other. Yeah, and just like people like Isabel being like, sorry, what is actually going on? Why has everybody just accepted this? <laughs> and then you're like, Well, we're we're here because of No no no. I I have accepted spatially where I am. However <laughs> Why? Weren't weren't you meant to go to verses? Like, yeah. It's nice when it's like people like the Queen just not caring about that aspect because she probably didn't listen to that part of the meeting before, you know. Whereas obviously, Isabel, having been an escape in the past, very aware of taking on board orders and thus trying to understand what her point where she is is meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so it was. It was a fun call. It was um, a nice little in uh, opportunity for basically everyone to interact. Mm -hmm. Um. I think, I think you, sorry, moving, um, yeah, it was, it was, an, it was another fairly action light one, because we're sort of prepping again and figuring out what we're doing, but, yeah, it was nice to get to interact with alternate universe weird, mm -hmm. uh, or more accurately, perhaps, alternate universe next five, mm -hmm. in query, 
we have that little moment in the hallway. Um, it was good because you were disguised it, at the time, and I kind of yes, loved that. Yes, it was kind of perfect timing. And I just like the way it is this plot point, which obviously our characters hadn't been aware of up till now, that sort of finally makes its way into everyone else's story. Mm. Um, and it did so at a very opportune moment, so that was cool. Um, what else? Let me think. I like that we got a bit more of um, of Isabel in uh, whatever capacity she's now working. That was that was interesting, right? There's a bit. There's another layer of intrigue there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously Zig doesn't know about the yeah uh, right yeah the how's Edgar's name going yeah Edgar the thing so so there's yeah uh, there, there's a lot of stuff floating about that hasn't quite been pieced together yet mm-hmm. and like can we assume perhaps CC knew because he was always sort of list- was, was he listening in or was he just it's hard to say right but it definitely seems like he could have been. The idea um, that he probably knows every single word of the conversation, but hasn't necessarily even read it, is the thing, right? Like knowing something and understanding it being two completely different things. Yeah. Almost binarily different in a, a CC's brain, probably. So we, yeah, we've got we've got this sort of stuff that's been simmering under the surface, sort of starting to push forward into prominence, so yeah th- th- that's pretty cool. Um, I actually excited. just love that you took so obviously that cutscene with Isabel on the comms, right being as it was and then you taking her on the mission that may or may not be a bad idea to then take her on the uh, you know, the shuttle to then leave her on the shuttle <laughs> like the layers of it I really enjoy because um, obviously uh, you hear the audience being like just check the comms log (laughs) or whatever right like I love that angle you know it's the ones that screamed at horror movies going he wouldn't be dumb enough to do that and then you look at current affairs and go I actually know yeah people would be Um, like yeah I mean you're not suspicious of your crew why would you be going and snooping about comm logs right exactly exactly yeah whereas CC just doesn't have boundaries so yeah it's a good it's a good shout that he might know um yeah, so uh, as I say, there's all sorts of things that are starting to come to the fore, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, it, it's a, a position where we're sort of like eh, we're just about to. I feel we're about to reach a, 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 a sort of climactic event of some sort. Obviously, we have the hint from whatever it was that that. The, the Nico did what's his ability called again? Astrological sense. Astrological sense. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, you have the hint that something's something's blocking that. Maybe tachyon particles. <laughs> tachyon particles are the ads of the other. Pesky um, tachyon particles. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have the sense that maybe something's coming, something significant perhaps, but the characters don't really know that. Mm. Although Zeg has a little hint, but again, we have this frustrating position where if we could all sort of get together, we could maybe work things out a bit more. Mm-hmm. And maybe make some better decisions, but yeah, we Zig. don't have all that information. Um, and it's not it's not Zeg's fault, it's like you're, you're not you didn't entirely choose to be there. You got put yeah, in position. And then you went I mean, technically, yeah, you did get asked, asked and like you went went to there, but that's like you were th- sort of thrown <laughs> into a situation whereby you went there. Um, it was like I mean, literally, that's what he asked for. <laughs> oh no, absolutely. But I will give you. He's I making an argument from predestination. I will give you the, the. You wouldn't have gone there if it hadn't been some gods decided to go. Uh, where can we chuck you? Like. You didn't go out of your way to drop the mission or anything. Um, to be fair, he was never uh, a part of that mission, right? He was part of a different mission. Yeah, the sub mission. <sighs> yeah, that he did abandon. Yeah. Um, so I, I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm being very, um, very kind. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I definitely felt like um, 
if we uh, if we just sync up, then maybe we'll be able to piece some things together, and maybe Zig will, you know, be able to figure out how not to be stuck in a time loop of bad. So yeah, I, I'm I'm uh, <laughs> eagerly awaiting some resolution. <laughs> Me too. Future <laughs> <laughs> session. But yeah, it was good fun. It was good. Uh, good getting to do that sort of banter between everyone. It was, it was a shame that Zig wasn't there for that, but obviously we have exciting things happening with him too. Um, I'm glad you thought they were exciting. Thank you. Yeah, I think it was, it was obviously like there was there was a nice moment of sort of tension when, unfort well, see his attempt to, like did he attempt to hide and then just give up immediately, and then go out and investigate, and then get caught immediately. He went to hide. Didn't have many places to hide except like under the bed. Then decided to like yeah. stealthily go through the place and have a look, and then to get a better look, he fucked up his stealth roll and she was behind yep. him. Yeah. So he kind of followed this potential Isabel around and then discovered. Well, it is Isabel because I'm right in front of her. Oh, hello. Yeah, and that was fun, but it, it was um. There, there's a sense of like, there, there's like, you know, there's a little bit of intrigue there. There's a sense of like, what are these people doing? Mm-hmm. Um, is it something nefarious? Because obviously, what we know with Isabel is that there is something up there that we don't know, mm. and we know that it involves people that we know that we don't know what we know about. Yeah, like with Edgar. Yeah, they're bad, but we don't know how or why, and what we and at what time. Mm-hmm. Glad you played that up. But I'm vi- the good thing is, a lot of those answers <laughs> are on Akaton, probably, maybe. Oh. Anyway, I'm <laughs> very tired and it's hard <laughs> to keep track, especially of Zig. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Hey, uh, anything else you'd like to add, Michael? My or Colin? brain isn't working. That's fair. Yeah, I, I feel that. I uh, right. Uh, last but not least, Zig. Um, I mean, <laughs> see passing for uh, details. Um, <laughs> is this what you tell us, Bill? <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, no. For doing this, I'll do this again. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I I loved it all. It was amazing, and um, quite frankly, just well done. Um, or. I was going to say keeping track, but um, yeah, keeping track of lots of things. Like I said uh, before, like the the moving the frame back onto the shelf was just like a lovely touch, and I kind of it kind of shows that your ability to kind of just throw things in to make everything seem more as if like this is an actual breathing world. Um, and they, these are the events that are happening in this world. Um, little little touches like that. Um, it was literally just like an off, like thing. Oh, I'm going to check to see if the the world's frozen. So I'm going to move this on off the shelf to see mm-hmm. what happens. Um, I'm glad you liked it. It was a nice yes, touch no, for me, Ted. Um, it's, so. it's just the it's the small things like that that really kind of bring the, I guess, the solar system, um, mm-hmm. to life. Um, uh, of which I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm envious, and I'm also like very thankful that we get to all enjoy this story together. Um, That's a good bunch. Enjoy playing with everyone here, and uh, yeah. This is when uh, people checkpoint this exact piece of audio for future games, where Callum Ridge quits the next game, uh, cursing us all as a uh, heathens for some reason. Uh, um, yep. Some reason or other, only future Callum will tell us. Yes, and he'll send somebody back in time to fix it. Okay. <laughs> um, thanks, everybody, by the way. That's uh, what it'll be. That was a lot of fun. I appreciate uh, all of the the appreciation, I guess, as well. That's It's very nice to know that you are at least sticking around for the journey um, and enjoying it along the way. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, guys, it was uh, fun as always. Uh, we have ran on far too long now uh, into the night, so I will say my goodbyes here. Thanks for playing, everybody, and we'll see you everybody next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Goodbye.